Ready to roll from the ice box tonight as it's the Stars against the Blackhawks for the second time this weekend and for the final time this regular season. Waterloo has captured each of the first three matchups and is trying to get a clean sweep of the head-to-head -head season series here tonight. Lincoln trying to change that and get a big victory here to get back to the win column. Their three-game win streak came to an end last night as Waterloo, meanwhile, extended its three-game winning streak to four games. This is the fourth time this season they have Accomplish that feat and now look to get to a season high five consecutive wins here tonight. Lincoln's starting lineup being brought to you by Williams Cleaners is as follows Max Rakotich at left wing. The center is Jack Picard. Right winger is Dash Oliver. Jacob Brombach on the left defense side. Tanner Hendricks on the right and Jan Shostak is in between the pipes. Picard into the dot to take the opening draw. It is Fought for a couple of times, eventually squirts free to the far wall and sticked up the wall by Rombach as we are underway. Waterloo will open up tonight. Miles Hillman at left wing. Brady Deering at center. Connor Brown, the right winger. Tyler Miller at left wing. Jaden Kerr on the right. And Calvin Vashon is in between the pipes. Rolling puck able to be scooped up by Showstack as we get an early stop in this game. Showstack is back between the pipes for a second consecutive day. Hard to blame him after the job he did yesterday. Shostak able to stop 36 of 40 shots that he faced last night, marking the third time this season that he has seen 40 or more shots in a game. And he gets the nod for night number two, third consecutive game that he starts. After three consecutive starts by Jack Spicer, he is out. And the typical starting goaltender, Calvin Vashon, is in. We'll give you the full numbers on the goaltenders in just a moment. Back underway, here's the puck. Squirts off of the near wall through the legs of Rombach, but able to be scooped up by Picard. He'll glide across the center ice logo and chip the puck into the attacking end to the right of Vashon. Left-handed catcher watches the puck come behind him, brought up toward the red line, intercepted by Spinelli right off of the bench. He'll backhand it into the zone, tries to get around the big body of Kerr, he could not, and the Blackhawks will break it out. Jan Varia off of the far wall, received by Jared Mangan. He enters the zone, flips it ahead a little bit for Justin Mexico. Mexico, the left winger on Mangan's line, taking that spot usually occupied by Blake Montgomery, who tonight is skating with Keaton Peters and Juan Copeland on the top line. Spinelli hands it off along the far wall to Masha. He'll skate to the goal line, tries a shot or a pass across things. Either way, deflected away from either target. And brought north by Alt Richter and the Blackhawks. But offside is the call as he entered the zone and then lobbed the puck a little too high and over the glass. Jan Shostak's numbers this season, 9-9-0-1 with a 288 goals against average and a 909 save percentage. Tonight is his 20th game of the season. His counterpart, Calvin Vashon, relieving Jack Spicer. Not quite relieving, obviously, but Bash on getting the start after Spicer started each of the last three games. Bash on pretty good numbers on the season to this point. 20th game between the pipes as well, 13 and 4, 275 goals against average at a 906 save percentage. Icing called on the Stars as they will retreat back to their own end. Bashon with three assists this season, matching the total that Spicer had last season. Bashon has been pretty definitively the number one goaltender this season. Tonight, his 20th game, Spicer appeared in his 10th game of the season last night. Spicer split duties a little bit with Emmett Croteau. Croteau got a lot of the starts down the stretch, but in the regular season last year, it was primarily Spicer who faced the Stars. Lincoln on the attack near wall side. Juan Copeland trying to fish the puck free from in between the feet of, of Nicholas Young and Jakub Altrichter. It will be fished around to the far side, kept into the line. Nice play to keep that on the attacking end by Gavin Thorson. Now at the far point, a wrister through is ricocheted wide of the cage to the right of Shostak. Twisting behind the net, and as he fell, forwarding it toward the net, John Mustard. But that puck able to be covered up by Jan Shostak. Shostak entering tonight third in the USHL in save percentage, sixth in goals against average, 909 and 288 respectively. In his career against Waterloo, just the two games 
but a 408 goals against average and an 873 save percentage. Two losses and two games giving up four goals in them. He and the Stars look to right the ship here tonight. Again, if you're just joining us down a skater tonight, Lincoln does get Reshaw back into the lineup. Matt Balte suspended for two games after his hit last night. Game against Miles Hillman right in front of the Waterloo bench. Garbon Yavosh also receiving a one-game suspension. So both of those players out of the lineup here tonight. Two valuable power forwards for Lincoln. So they're going to have to find a new way to ramp up the physicality tonight. But nice to have Shaw back in the lineup, a guy who, when chatting with him before the game, as the Stars ice the punk again here, I uh, chatted with Shaw right after, right before warm-ups got started and told him wasn't expecting to see him until next week, which is what he was originally targeting, what he mentioned earlier this week. I said, didn't expect to see you in tonight, and he mentioned, well, a couple guys are down. Had to kind of step up in a situation like that. He said there was obviously a need for someone. He said, I was willing to battle through it and come back earlier. That's a heck of a teammate, and we'll see how he's able to battle that wrist injury he sustained back on February the 9th against Fargo. Asked him how he would do in the dawn. He said, we'll give it a go and see what happens tonight. Sharp angle shot there off the stick of Reed Mork. Hits the side of the cage. Kept alive in the near wall side. Mork forwards it into the corner. Arrow Butilla sent behind the net. Mork using his right hand to stave off the fence. Reverses direction. Tries to wrap it around in front. Couldn't get the shot off he wanted. Back to the neutral zone it comes as Wood applies pressure. Right in front of the Stars bench against Jaden Kerr. Waterloo tries to re-enter far side. But Butella is offside. 17.04 to go here in the first period of play. No score yet between Lincoln and Waterloo. Four shots for the Blackhawks and none for the Stars. Stars outshot in last night's game. 40 shots on goal by the Blackhawks. Lincoln was able to put 28 on net. But the Stars dropped the weekend opener and saw their three-game winning streak come to an end. Jan Berea plowed into the boards behind the net. Connor Brown goes to work on the forecheck. Brown a thorn in the Stars' side last year in the playoffs. Game number two of the second round. He had two goals in Waterloo's lone victory. Now streaking in on the left wing side and scoring. It's Oliver, and it's one to nothing Lincoln. Dash Oliver speeds the other way and scores as he makes this a one to nothing Stars lead. Oliver's third goal in the last five games. And the quick wrister puts Lincoln up one zip. Goal number six overall for Oliver. This is his fifth game back after missing 10 straight games due to injury. And boy, he is back with an urgency right now. Max Verkotic picking up the primary helper, Martin Marsha with the other one. And the Stars have the early one to nothing lead. What a start there. Oliver, just a quick wrist shot. Looked like it might be harmless, but found its way past Vashon as he gets the scoring started here tonight. So the Stars gave up the first goal last night, held the lead for a little over two minutes after striking a couple of times afterwards, but have scored first here tonight. 13th time this season they've done that. They are 7-5 and five in the first 12 instances. Waterloo behind the eight ball right now. There's Mosh at the blue line. He'll escort the puck into the zone. Slings it in and heads across ice for a change. Gavin Thorson backhands up the wall right toward Young. Altrichter got a stick in to interfere with that a bit. And eventually it finds its way back toward the blue liners. Nick Fasha near side. In front of the Stars bench, lobs this puck in toward the near corner side. And Nicholas Young will scoop it up for Lincoln on the far side. Pass up toward Mangan, hopped off of his stick. Couple of tie-ups, now Erdman comes free with it. Inside the right circle, tries to elevate, but he misses the net. Tommy Townsend there with him. Erdman reverses direction, just a little bit away from Townsend. Montgomery touching it. They battle along the half wall far side. Now it's Nicholas Young behind the net, had his stick lifted. Hustling over toward is Erdman. He's trying to get a big response here for Waterloo. Erdman behind the net finds Townsend. Far side into the high slot, fed over to the left of Fascia. Low wrist shot, fought off by Shostak. And Mangan picks up the rebound. 
He'll guide it up the wall toward Copeland. Deeks his way around Erdman and goes north. Juan Copeland with a lane. Hustles across the blue line up the middle. Lost a puck temporarily. Fires it off of the boards. Near corner side where Peters collects it and is bodied up against the wall. Peters comes free. Had a power play goal last night. 11th of the season, Peters has moved into a tie with Picard and Montgomery for the most goals among any Lincoln Stars skater. Peters is back at his own end. Backhands it over to the far side. Jacob Rombach back toward Tanner Hendricks. He'll zoom north now. Hendricks will reverse direction, sent across ice, and received off of the wall by Montgomery. Blake Montgomery over to Copeland, trying to go give and go. Hit off a stick right back to Copeland, who got rid of the puck but was punished there by Mork. Good puck protection now by Montgomery. Zooms into the near boards, hands it off to Copeland, vent to the right point. Hendricks has to go back to the neutral zone to get it as he recovers and backhands into the far corner. Six minutes gone in this one. It's one to nothing stars early on. Waterloo begins on the breakout here. Travis LaFear, drop pass over toward Butella. Couldn't get the backhander through. Masha had his stick whacked away, delayed penalty. Waterloo touches up, and it will be an interference call coming up on Travis LaFear in his second USHL game. This is going to put the Stars on the power play as they lead one to nothing early on and look to add to it in a moment. 13.47 left in the first period. Much more to come in just a moment. Stick around with us here from the Icebox after these messages. The Lincoln Stars are presented by Culligan. Culligan of Lincoln area is locally owned and operated and has no plans to change that anytime soon. We understand the challenges of our region's water and have a deep passion for providing high quality water to our neighbors. At Culligan of Lincoln area, we go to great lengths to test your water, inspect your plumbing, and ask questions about your family's water needs to make sure you're happy with your Culligan water from day one. Give your people Culligan water. And by Lee's Chicken. Since 1945, this trusted establishment has continued to offer traditional comfort food in a warm and inviting environment. As the oldest running restaurant in the city, you and your family will benefit from time-honored recipes and proven preparation techniques. When searching for the right place to satisfy your hunger, Lee's Chicken has it all. Dash Oliver's first period goal, the first time in the last four games in which the Stars score the game's first goal. Last time they did it two Fridays ago against Omaha. A lot of one-goal contests, each of the last four entering tonight. Lincoln trying to double up its lead. Spinale's shot is blocked away. Getting in front of that one, Miles Hillman up initially, kind of shaking off his leg. He'll stay on the ice here for the penalty kill as Jan Varia zooms north with the puck. He'll drop it backwards toward Mangan. Breakout pass comes toward the far side. Brought into the zone by Montgomery. He's pushed out wide and will bank the puck around toward the near side. Mangan at the right point. Holds. Flips it straight away on the blue line to Jan Varia. To his left, he's got Montgomery. Winds up with a shot. It's deflected up high in front. Corral by the star. Spinale sends it back to Montgomery. To the point, Jan Varia. Right side for Spinale. Streaks in. Tries a low shot. Blocked away by Miller. Right back to Jan Varia. Montgomery pumps down low, Mangan looking to go back door side toward Furkotic. Gets it back from him behind the wall, but he's tied up with Miller. Kerr able to find the puck, backhanding it off of his own teammate. Mangan possesses it. He'll reverse direction. Toss down in front of the net for Kotich as Mangan goes to work behind the net. Lofted the puck around Kerr, couldn't get his body around him. And the big Waterloo defenseman sends the puck down the length of the ice. Second unit onto the ice for Lincoln as Kleber breaks it out now from behind his own blue line. One zip stars with 12.28 to go here in the first period and a one to nothing lead thanks to Dashiell Oliver at the 3.19 mark from Max for Kodic and Martin Masha. Lafir in the box for interference for the Blackhawks as Mexico gains the line. Little trouble after gaining the blue line shortly afterwards. Nice back check by Peters to steal the punk away from Gavin Thorson. Cross ice pass comes just behind the legs of Picard, received by Mexico. Back and forth he goes with Kleber. Now Justin Mexico across the red line, chops the puck over to the left side, and Picard will flick it around the base of the board to the near side. Peters up the wall toward Copeland. Power play winding down, that has now expired. Kleber to the right side, top of the circle. Copeland shot blocked away. Alt are able to poke it over both lines as it rolls all the way back toward the side of the Stars net. And Copeland will bring it north. His pass hits right off of the equipment of Grady Deering. 
Pass toward the slot for Kerr, a little too strong. Trying to one-touch it back toward the near side for Brown. Janvaree and the Stars intercept. This puck pops up right in front of the glass and over it, near side of the ice, right next to the Waterloo bench. And we get a stoppage with 11.19 to go here in the first period. So no dice for the Stars on their first power play of the night. Waterloo able to kill it off with their sixth rank penalty kill. Entering tonight at 79.2%, and they are one for one while down a skater here tonight. Face off to the left of Vashon in just a second. And it will be controlled by the Blackhawks as Landed Nyes pumps it out near side of the ice ahead and chopped into the zone by Erdman. Slipping around the defense and somehow getting that puck home is Grady Deering. Deering looking like he was trying to backhand that far post side. He elevated it probably a little too much, and it hit off of Shostak's side and into the back of the net. Deering pretty much even with the goal line has tied this game up with 11.06 to go in the first period. Deering doing a great job picking his spot. Back underway here now in a 1-1 game. With the Stars striking first but giving up an answer shortly afterwards as here's Oliver just missing the net. Boy, you can see it on the replay. Deering just doing a nice job elevating the puck just enough to get it into the bank of the net. Waterloo with the answer. The Stars had one last night. Now it's about who gets that next goal. This puck will be lofted in by Butella right at the Lincoln net and Shostak able to hang on. Seven shots for the Blackhawks compared to two for the Stars. Ten thirty-eight to go in the first period. Interesting seeing that as we talked about it before, Montgomery being used on this line with Peters and Copeland. It's pretty much been a given. I would argue since mid-November, ever since Ryan Spinelli was acquired, pretty much was a given. He was going to skate with Blake Montgomery and Keaton P and Jared Mangan. Tonight he's just with Mangan. Now Montgomery on the top line with Mexico moving to the left line. Lincoln juggling things up due to some injuries and suspensions here tonight. And here they come the other way. A bounce of the puck allows for Montgomery to go new. He shoots. He scores! Blake Montgomery shows off his speed and scores again. Bevo for the fourth time in the last four games. It's two to one stars. Blake Montgomery with 10-13 to go in the first period as he picks up his 12th goal of the season. Speed kills and Montgomery has been finishing his opportunities when he gets these breakaway chances as of late. Two to one stars. They've got two goals on three shots. So you change things up a little bit with the lines, and it certainly pays off as the stars have taken the lead. Montgomery scoring regardless of who he's playing with. Love to see that kind of work. The nice depth of this team being showcased once again. That's been their strength since Thanksgiving weekend. Now here come the Blackhawks trying to respond. A low wrist shot. Down low, able to be denied by Shostak. Mustard sliding into the wall. Now he's back up and battling in the far corner with Hendricks and Mangan. Back in the neutral zone, here come the Blackhawks. Trying to work this puck into the attacking end. It'll be chipped ahead. Mustard goes to work on the forecheck. Gets the hit in against Hendricks. Now Spinelli flips over to the left, gets it back from Mangan. Cross ice pass, too strong initially. Mexico one times the feet off the wall. Comes back toward him after the first one was blocked. Well, that one fought off. Henricks tries to bank it up the wall, but it's able to be gloved down by Deering to himself. 9.04 to go here in the first. Lincoln ahead by a 2-1 score in an action-packed period once again. It's been a fun weekend 
watching these two teams battle. As the Stars are guilty of icing here to get a stoppage with 8.54 to go here in the first period. Face off coming up, back to the Stars defensive zone. You know, you look back at last night's game, Lincoln lost the face off battle 34 to 31. They've won more face offs than their opponent in all but 11 games this season and have gone four and seven in those games. The Stars opponent has won the face off battle in three of the last four games entering tonight. The only one that Lincoln won was December 31st against the Tri City Storm. Now oh, here's Montgomery getting to the puck just before Kerr does as it was lobbed down ice. Pressured by the big Waterloo defenseman. And he lost that battle though, but it is chopped back in as the puck rolls to the near corner. Carson Reed flips it behind the net for Kerr, sent around the boards and one touch through the legs of Connor Brown right toward the Stars. Tyler Wood pressured away from the puck by Kerr. Brown picks it up behind his own net. Banked into the neutral zone. Oliver would chop it over the line. Now goes back to work, Dasha Oliver. Mixing it up on the near side as he flips behind the net. Shaw getting toward it. So we're getting to see this line go to work. Oliver dropping down for that third line to the fourth line. Asked head coach Ronke Russo whether it would kind of be a right winger coming in at times as Masha collides to the near post and takes it off for a quick whistle. Asked coach Russo if that would kind of be what that fourth line would be, would it be just other right wingers filling the role or would it be Shaw and Wood sometimes mixing in on other lines? And early on in this game, it's been a matter of right wingers stepping in alongside Wood and Shaw. This is a banged up couple of players on the fourth line. Shaw just came back after recovering from a wrist injury, missed the last seven games. Tyler Wood has been battling some shoulder troubles. Last year, hardly played any junior hockey due to a one shoulder being injured. The other one has been plaguing him lately. He's fighting through it. But you know that's something the coaching staff appreciates at a time like this where you're short-handed in a lot of ways. Guys out with other injuries and suspensions. Love seeing guys like Wood and Shaw stepping up to give you the bodies that you need, maybe not playing at 100%. Here comes Jan Varia, far side of the ice. Off the face-off win, he'll lob it ahead for Shaw. Shaw's around one man across the blue line. Flips it over toward Vashon. He'll pat it aside to the far wall. Oliver sends it in behind the net. He's another guy who's kind of been banged up a little bit in and out of the lineup. Sons suffering a little bit after a goal last week. It took a big collision. It certainly hasn't slowed him down at all as he scored again here tonight. There's a wrister for the near wall side. Blocked before it gets through. Oliver on the backhand opportunity tonight. Right in front for Kodich was there. Elevated it too high. Blinken that close to making it 3-1. Continuing on the attack here, Oliver from the right side, patted away by Vashon, back toward the near wall, Pakar trying to forward it behind the goal line, pushed away from Furkotic, but the Stars retain possession now far side. D to D from Young to Kleber, lost it on the last deke, and he'll retreat back toward his own end. Adam Kleber works it north, and Nick Young pinches in. He'll bank it off the wall for Pakar, hands it off along the far wall for Young, back to the point. Justin Mexico walks inside the circle. Fans on the shot, but sticks with the play and glides in behind the net. Mexico to the near board side. Winds up again. This one will be held by Vashon. And we get a stoppage with 6.47 to go here in the first period. Eight shots for the Stars, seven for the Blackhawks. And it's a 2-1 to one lead for Lincoln in this one. We'll be back with more in just a moment after this from the Icebox. Don't forget to stop by the Rail Yard Rink, now open in downtown Lincoln. The Rail Yard Rink is proudly presented by the Lincoln Stars and is in operation until mid-February. You're bound to make great winter memories ice skating in the heart of the capital city. Lincoln Stars players will be making appearances at the Rail Yard Rink throughout the winter months to meet and greet with fans. For a full schedule of the Rail Yard Rink, please visit LincolnStars.com and click on the Rail Yard Rink drop-down option on the Community tab. The Stars are back home next Saturday night for Star Wars Night as they battle the Tri-City Storm here at the Icebox. The Stars will be sporting specialty Star Wars uniforms that will be auctioned off after Saturday's game. The puck drops at 7.05 p.m., and you can get your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. 
Two to one Lincoln on goals by Dasho Oliver and Blake Montgomery. Montgomery striking for the second consecutive day and just continuing his assault in the months of December and now January. We can say as the calendar has turned, Montgomery with goals in each of the first two games of the new year. 12 on the season to lead all stars players. Lincoln scored goals on two of its first three shots of the game. Now looks for some more cushion. Tie up on the far corner side as it came free off of the wall. Mexico trying to connect on a pass towards Spinal. He could not. And it's brought in now from the left wing side. Townsend tried to get it through. Couldn't get it around Kleber initially. Now it's lobbed in towards Shostak. He'll settle the puck. And Young takes over to the far side. Mangan across ice. Bobbled off of the stick of Delaney. Spinal takes over. Enters the zone. Staves off the defense as he gives it to Mexico. His shot blocked away, brought back into the neutral zone, and Carson Reed speeds the other way. A low wrister fought off by Shostak. Rebound wrapped around the net by Irvin. Net comes off its moorings as there's a wrist shot held down low by Shostak. Technically, that shouldn't count. That was off its moorings as Irvin was bringing the puck around for the near side. And that'll be attended to now. 5.48 to go in the first period. Waterloo is being credited with that shot before the whistle. So it is nine shots on goal for them, eight for the Stars. Peters is lined onto the ice with Montgomery and Copeland. All reacher to take the draw. Picked up three assists last Sunday for his eighth multi-point game of the season to Jakub Altrichter. He's also the lone player on the Waterloo Blackhawks with multiple shorthanded goals. They lead the entire USHL with seven. He's got two of them. Here's Reed cutting in. His shot knuckles away as Shostak makes the save. Comes away from the cage over to the near boards and Peters begins to rush out. Handed off to Jan Berea. Staves off the defense as he chops it in behind Vashon. Carson Reed, the first one to it for Waterloo. They attack right to left here in the first period, being brought to you by Genesis Health Clubs as Lincoln leads by a 2 to 1 score midway through. Later stages, I should say, flying right by with 5.20 left. Here's Thorson up the middle, delays for Reed. Couldn't get the shot on that. Good sticks in the vicinity. I believe Masha was the one who got one at the last moment and deflected that shot out of play to the far corner. Now Jan Varia and Thorson chatting a bit. Thorson staving off the defense, doing what he does best, and that's facilitate. Gavin Thorson entering tonight, tied for first in the USHL with 24 assists this season. Trying to pick up another apple there. You can't really say enough about that defensive pairing of Masha and Jan Faria. The work that they have done, they have really separated themselves as the, the top pairing. You can make your debates about who the star's best defenseman has been. I think it's pretty clear, though, that Jan Faria and Masha have been the best as a team when working together. Stars control the draw. Rombach will flick it out. This unit, though, of Henriks and Rombach has done an exceptional job, though they do ice the puck here. Talk about two of the younger guys on this team in Rombach and Henriks. And I, I think it's one of those things where you look at the statistics for defensemen, and for the casual fan, it's hard to tell which guys have been doing well. You want to look and say who's getting the points. And yeah, that is important, but it's also, you know, which guys are the ones maybe you're not noticing some nights. Maybe that being because they're just making the plays they should be. It's kind of one of those old sayings in hockey. Some of your best defensemen are those ones, the ones you aren't really maybe mentioning a whole lot. They're doing the little things. Maybe they are getting rewarded every once in a while, but not really making a lot of mistakes either. As of late, Rombach and Hendricks have been terrific. Blackhawks with the puck as it's brought in. Up the middle by Brown, chopped over the right side. Quick pass to the pinching Miller. Good stick by Hendricks. He forces him out right there. Miller had a lane for a moment. Henricks putting the stick in to push the puck away temporarily. Waterloo will try to re-enter the zone now here. Rombach on the far corner, chopped up the wall for Wood. Hops right off of his stick, though, and is collected by Phelan. As he and the Blackhawks begin the re-entry. Backhanded into the zone by Deering. He's got their lone goal tonight. In fact, each of their last two goals, if you go back to last night's game. Game winner with a shorthanded tally early on in the third. 
Arrobutella feeds it to the point. Fascia winds up a shot. Denied as Shostak hangs on. And we get a stoppage with 4.07 left here in the first period. A 2-1 to one Stars lead as we recap the scoring here. Dash Oliver getting it started with a wrist shot from the left wing side at the 319 mark. Deering tied it up at the 854 mark with his eighth of the season before Montgomery delivered with his 12th of the campaign at the 947 mark. So 2-1 to one Lincoln with 407 left in the frame. Face off control by the Stars. Cleaver's pass hitting a stick, but finds its way over to Furkotic, who gets it out of the zone. Max Furkotic scoring last Saturday against the Omaha Lancers. As Young keeps it in the far point, flings it around the boards over toward the near corner side. Picard punches it over toward Furkotic, comes in, applies the body on the forecheck, but it is the Blackhawks possessing the puck. Far end, it's Butella. Across ice and just a little bit away from Morick. For Kodic, a little bit of trouble. Lafier trying to line him up. Went into the boards hard. Gets up all right, though. Car punches it ahead and over the line. As it'll be scooped up back to the Waterloo end by Phelan. Michael Phelan ahead to the blue line. Hopped off of the stick of Lindbergh temporarily. Recovers, feeds it to Townsend, shoots and scores. Teddy Townsend from the left wing circle has tied this one back up. Back and forth we go between the Stars and the Blackhawks for the second straight day as we're all evened up with 3.15 left in the first period. Townsend's seventh goal of the season for the Eden Prairie, Minnesota native and Minnesota commit. Scored against the Stars back in the shootout, so not an official goal when these two teams met on October the 20th. Townsend down with five goals over his last nine games. And he has evened this game up once more. Off a face-off win, Marsha the red line, wrists the puck into the zone behind Vashon. Nyes will trip it over to the far end. Landed Nyes back into the lineup tonight for Waterloo after being out last night. Spadali lost his stick as the pass came in his direction. Had to pick it up as the Stars trying to help out over there. Mangan backtracks down to the far side. Mosh's pass ahead, just barely getting a body as it crossed over the blue line to wash out any icing. Now here's an angle for Lindbergh. He scored last night. Left hash, his shot popped up in the air off of the glove of Shostak, but he hangs on. And Lindbergh with that big power play goal early on. First of two last night. Miles Hillman had the other one. Hillman in the last week of action with two multi-goal games. Keep an eye on him throughout the evening. That alt Richter line on the ice now. Thorson to the right. Mustard to the left. Waterloo's a team. They pretty much roll three pretty heavy lines. The third line center got the scoring start tonight in Deering, the Des Moines native. Top line right now out on the ice. These guys kind of pretty much have enough to say for themselves. Here's Copeland threading the needle for Peters. He tried to delay just enough and cut to the cage. Fanned on the little chip to himself as the puck rolled right over to Vashon. Golden opportunity there. But the Stars will get an offensive zone draw in just a moment. 2.21 left in that first period. 13 shots for the Blackhawks and nine for the Stars. Faceoff cannot be corralled by the Stars. Ethan Weber will bank it up through the legs of Copeland, just a little strong for Peters. They chopped over near side. This should be icing. It will be negated, though, as Rombach picks it up behind the net. Over to Weber, a breakdown pass up to Peters at center ice. Keaton Peters glides in up the middle, hands it off to the left side. Montgomery tries to get a last second dangle. He absorbs a hit, but it does look like a penalty is coming up for head contact on that hit against Montgomery. So as a result, the Stars are going to get a power play out of that. Matt Smay be voicing his disagreement from the Waterloo bench. Jaden Kerr can't believe it either. The Notre Dame commit heading to the sin bin now, though, with a buck 53 left in the first. Beg your pardon, that's going to be 
That will be a power play coming up here as I, I believe that is head contact. We'll double check here in a moment. That is exactly it. So here come the Stars onto the power play. First power play unit is going to have Mangan, Montgomery, as well as looks like Spinelli, Jan Varia, and I believe Furkotich on the far side. See what the Stars can do here. They broke out with a power play goal last night. Second chance of this evening. They win the draw. Jan Varia to the left point. Montgomery working his way in. Fed back to him from Mangan, but hopped off of his stick, so couldn't get the shot off. Sends it back down low. Right in front, a feed from the far corner to the near post side. Could it be corralled by Spinelli? And it's fired down the length of the ice. Lincoln striking last night with a power play goal for the first time since December 15th. They were 0 for 18 on the man advantage in between power play tallies. 0 for 1 tonight. A buck 25 to go on the opportunity now. Tie up behind the net to the far corner side. Able to be possessed and lofted down the length of the ice by Waterloo as Deering sends it back towards Shostak. A minute to go here in the first period. Jan Varia begins to rush north. He'll drop this puck off right in front of the Stars net. And now Mangan brings it the other way from the far side. Mangan trying to cut in up the middle. Stars are offside. Now with 47.9 seconds left here in the first, we get a neutral zone faceoff in a moment. Second unit comes out now. Keaton Peters picking up a power play tally last night. On the season, Peters has three power play goals. That's second to Jack Bacar over on the right side. Copeland slingshots it in. Bacar going to work near corner. Just barely beaten over toward the puck by Miller. Mexico helps to force a tie-up. Far side for Copeland. Sent back to him from Mexico. And up the wall it rolls to Bacar. 28 seconds left in the frame. Kleber to the far side. Bacar winds up with a shot, but it's held by Vashon. And we get a whistle with 23.3 seconds to go in the frame. 30 seconds to go on the power play. This will trickle over into the second period unless the Stars are able to get a quick strike goal here at a moment. Love to go into the locker room in the lead. Lincoln hasn't taken a lead into the first intermission in the last three games prior to tonight. See what they do as they control. Up top, Kleber to the left side. One-timer from Bacar blocked away. And it does eventually carry him and come to contact with the net behind the net. 14.4 seconds left. Looks like Lincoln's going to keep the same personnel on the ice as Waterloo brings on Deering and subs out Mork at the last moment. Deering out there to take the face off. So I'm controlled by the Blackhawks. And from behind their own net, it's slapped off of the near wall and rolls all the way back to Shostak. He'll wrist it up to the blue line for Picard with five seconds. Back hands it ahead for Mexico. Two seconds, gains the line. Mexico drop pass for Oliver, and time expires as the puck comes over toward him. One period down, and both teams with two goals in it for the second night in a row. Oliver getting the scoring started at the 319 mark with his sixth of the season. Grady Deering for Waterloo even it up at the 854 mark before Blake Montgomery gained the, the Stars the lead less than a minute later at the 947 mark, his 12th and team leading goal. And then Teddy Townsend evened it up once more at the 1645 mark to make this a 2-2 two -two contest after one. Brandon Warnke will be all along in just a moment as we bring you the first intermission report presented by Crayon Campus. And that comes your way after these messages on Mixler and Flow Hockey. The Lincoln Stars are presented by Culligan. Culligan of Lincoln area is locally owned and operated and has no plans to change that anytime soon. We understand the challenges of our region's water and have a deep passion for providing high quality water to our neighbors. 
At Kelligan of Lincoln Area, we go to great lengths to test your water, inspect your plumbing, and ask questions about your family's water needs to make sure you're happy with your Culligan water from day one. Give your people Culligan water. And by Lee's Chicken. Since 1945, this trusted establishment has continued to offer traditional comfort food in a warm and inviting environment. As the oldest running restaurant in the city, you and your family will benefit from time-honored recipes and proven preparation techniques. When searching for the right place to satisfy your hunger, Lee's Chicken has it all. A few drinks at home after work. A couple hits at a party with some friends. Over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness. A new daily prescription and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Da Vinci's has something for everyone, like baked pasta meals or gourmet pizzas. Choose your favorite or create your own. Speaking of creativity, express yourself at the salad bar at Da Vinci's three locations. Add soup and call it a meal. Speaking of meals, Da Vinci's hot hoagie and cheesesteak sandwiches are delightfully filling, but save room for a warm gourmet cookie for dessert. Da Vinci's has something to please every appetite. Take the family out to eat where... It just tastes better, Da Vinci's. Hey, Stars fans, looking for insider information, exclusive offers, and contest details from the Lincoln Stars hockey team? Download the official Lincoln Stars hockey app powered by True North Technologies from your app store today. Every customer is unique, and your marketing matters to us. We love customizing marketing plans to fit your exact needs. Call 402-420-5101 or check us out at go-tnt.com. When an injury gets you down, Nebraska Orthopedic Center's Ortho Quick Care is here to cheer you up. Win with same day treatment, no appointments needed, and the visit won't break the bank with high copays, like a visit to the emergency room. Get back to doing what you love. Ortho Quick Care can keep you winning in the game and in life. Walk in now and win with NOC Ortho Quick Care at 70th and A in Lincoln. Open seven days a week. Visit NebraskaOrtho.com to learn more. Hello and welcome to the first intermission report here at the Ice Bucks here on Flow Hockey and Mixler. Kind of a little bit of deja vu or a look in the mirror of game one. That was yesterday as the score is two to two after the first minute or first period of play. It would be the Lincoln Stars that would get things started at the 319 mark. Max Prokodic was a long the boards at center ice. He was able to advance the puck just enough for Dashiell Oliver to take it along the boards, go on the left wing side, and hit a wrister to the top shelf, and he would get his sixth goal of the season. And then later on in the first period at the 8.54 mark, it would be Grady Deering who would fight through a couple of Stars players on the loose puck on the left wing to and skate right up to Showstack to stuff it in behind him and he would score his eighth goal of the season, and it would be Griffin Erdman that would get the assist on that, his ninth of the season. And then later on in the period, it would, at the 9.47 mark, Blake Montgomery would pick up a loose, loose puck along the offside circle near the star zone. He would go one-on-one -on -one against Vashon, and he would get his goal. and suspensions here tonight. And here they come the other way. A bounce of the puck allows for Montgomery to go new. He shoots, he scores! Blake Montgomery shows off his speed and scores again. Bebo for the fourth time in the last four games. It's two to one stars. Blake Montgomery with 10-13 to go in the first period as he picks up his 12th goal of the season. Speed kills, and Montgomery has been finishing his opportunities when he gets these breakaway chances as of late. And of course, Blake Montgomery is on a hot streak right now, as Joel said on the broadcast, his fourth goal in four games. And that would be his 12th goal of the season, and now he is the leading star on this team with the most goals. 
and Stars fans kind of hoping he gets a multi-goal game as the Stars are three and O oh when Montgomery finds the net more than once in a game. And you know, kind of one of our keys of the games tonight was keep, have the Stars get the, get the lead and hold it. They have not led in the last three games after the first and second period, and it's not going to look like it's going to be it's going to look like it's going to be the same here tonight as they are still tied two to two here after the first period. Looking at the shots on goal, it would be Waterloo on top, 13 to Lincoln's 11. Last night though, the Stars improved on their first period shots on goal as they only shot about seven goals on, on, their, on Waterloo's goaltender while Waterloo got Showstack busy early last night with 17 shots on goal. Looking at the penalties, the Lincoln Stars had two power play opportunities after two penalties by Waterloo, one for interference and another for head contact. Obviously the Stars have also been struggling on the power play. They are last in the USHL on the power play with about 11.9 percent conversion rate before heading into this weekend matchup they went 0 for 16 on opportunities when they were a man up with their last one coming on December 28th against the Tri-City Storm. We're going to take a quick break when we come back though we will have scores around the USHL. This is the first intermission report here at the Icebox on Flow Hockey and Mixler. Stars currently tied with Waterloo 2-2. Two to two. Lincoln Stars are being presented by Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Stop in and experience our small town atmosphere, but with big city service. Enjoy live music every weekend and watch your favorite games on one of our 22 HD TVs. Be sure to join us for our daily specials, happy hour, and classic menu items every day of the week. And by Craft Axe Throwing, are you ready to unleash your inner lumberjack? Look no further than Craft Axe Throwing. Whether you're a first-timer or a pro, your expert coaches have you covered. Perfect for your next birthday, date night, or just an evening with friends. Book now on CraftAxeThrowing.com for the ultimate axe experience. Whether you're a sniper or a plumber or you ride the pine or you've been standing on your head the whole game, everyone gets in on the selling. After you leave the icebox, head to the other barn. Rosie's downtown at 10th and B. Continue the gong show after the game. Drop your mitts and your fishbowl. Check your lettuce and lip sweater. Great drink specials. Dude, what did you just say? Now that's a hockey commercial. We'll see you at Rosie's Sports Bar Grill. Rosie's downtown, 10th and P. He shoots and scores. Rosie'sSportsBar.com. Get all of your favorite restaurants delivered with venue delivery. Delivered.com. One place for ordering delicious appetizers, refreshing salads, hot entrees, fresh sandwiches, and more. From Venue Restaurant and Lounge, Piedmont Bistro, and all Lincoln Good Sense Subs locations. Download our phone app to earn rewards on all of your carryout and delivery orders. Available on Apple and Android, just search for the Pillar Restaurants app. That's the Pillar Restaurants app. Download today. Do you carry that hockey stick with you everywhere you go? Yep, it's my lucky hockey stick. I scored five goals in one game with this baby. And you have to bring it into the convenience store? How else would I get this bag of chips to the counter? Or point to the Nebraska Lottery Scratch games I want to buy? I suppose you scratch the tickets with it, too? No, that would be weird. Nebraska Lottery Scratch games. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. It's me. It's me. It's double D. Cheesesteak royalty has come to Lincoln. If you want the Stone Cold Best, if you want the people's cheesesteak, you come see me. Double D. Delco D. Find us behind Gravity, 12th and O Street. Come get the new Cheesesteak King of Lincoln. Find Delco Dave's on Facebook for more details. Authentic cheesesteaks made by an authentic Philly. Welcome back to the first intermission report here on Flow Hockey and Mixler. I'm Brandon Warnke. Before we get into the scores around the USHL, USHL, there are a couple of roster updates to the Lincoln Stars as both Germán Yavash and Matthew Malte actually picked up a couple of suspensions last night in the game against Waterloo. Yavash got suspended for one game for his penalty that he got last night for boarding, and then Malte is actually suspended not only for next weekend's matchup, 
but also the other game as well. Two games for head contact, and obviously the Stars are still missing one of their one of their players, Jimmy Joseph. He is out with injury, and then it would be Justin Varner who is also out tonight. Well, looking at the scores around the league, the Sioux Falls Stampede are taking on Chicago Steel. That game is currently tied 0-0, zero to zero, and it's about 9.20 in the second period. Chicago Steel out, out shooting the Sioux Falls Stampede 9-6. to six. And then one game that we've been kind of paying attention this last couple of days, the Des Moines Buccaneers, as they took on or they're taking on Fargo Force. Obviously, we're in kind of that push for the playoffs as Des Moines Buccaneers are in the sixth spot, the last spot to get into the playoffs with 26 points. Lincoln only behind by two points. Last night, Des Moines did lose to Fargo in a very, very big blowout, 9-0. to zero. And with the Stars losing 4-3 to three last night, the standings did not change at all. So still, the Des Moines Buccaneers on top 26 points to Lincoln's 24 points. That game is currently tied 1-1 in the second period with 17-15 left. The Fargo Force out shooting the Buccaneers 12-9 in that game. And then we're going to go over to Kearney, Nebraska in the Viero Events Center as the Tri-City Storm hosts the USA hockey team. That game is currently at the end of the first period with Tri-City scoring four goals in the first period while USA Hockey only scored two. The Storm out shooting them 15-10 to 10 in that one. And now going to the number two seed in the Western Conference taking on, or Sioux City Musketeers taking on the Madison Capitals. That game is currently tied 0-0 zero zero with 17.50 left in the second period. And then coming up at 7.05, we will have the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, the Dubuque Fighting Saints. They are in top in a big, big lead, six points ahead of the Green Bay Gamblers with 44 points, with Green Bay having 38. That game is actually just started, so we'll see that action here in the second intermission. And then finally, the Cedar Rapid Rough Riders hosting the Green Bay Gambler. Ga Gamblers. That game also at 7.05, so that game should be starting here pretty quickly. That is going to sum up the first intermission report. Lincoln still tied with Waterloo 2-2 two to two after the first period of action. When we come back, we will have the second period action here on Mixler and Flow Hockey. ...are presented by Culligan. Culligan of Lincoln area is locally owned and operated and has no plans to change that anytime soon. We understand the challenges of our region's water and have a deep passion for providing high quality water to our neighbors. At Culligan of Lincoln area, we go to great lengths to test your water, inspect your plumbing, and ask questions about your family's water needs to make sure you're happy with your Culligan water from day one. Give your people Culligan water. And by Lee's Chicken. Since 1945, this trusted establishment has continued to offer traditional comfort food in a warm and inviting environment. As the oldest running restaurant in the city, you and your family will benefit from time-honored recipes and proven preparation techniques. When searching for the right place to satisfy your hunger, Lee's Chicken has it all. A few drinks at home after work, a couple hits at a party with some friends, over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Drive Impaired, paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Da Vinci's has something for everyone, like baked pasta meals or gourmet pizzas. Choose your favorite or create your own. Speaking of creativity, express yourself at the salad bar at Da Vinci's three locations. Add soup and call it a meal. Speaking of meals, Da Vinci's hot hoagie and cheesesteak sandwiches are delightfully filling, but save room for a warm gourmet cookie for dessert. Da Vinci's has something to please every appetite. Take the family out to eat where... It just tastes better, Da Vinci's. Hey Stars fans, looking for insider information, exclusive offers, and contest details from the Lincoln Stars hockey team? 
Download the official Lincoln Stars hockey app powered by True North Technologies from your app store today. Every customer is unique, and your marketing matters to us. We love customizing marketing plans to fit your exact needs. Call 402-420-5101 or check us out at go-tnt.com. When an injury gets you down, Nebraska Orthopedic Center's Ortho Quick Care is here to cheer you up. Win with same-day treatment, no appointments needed, and the visit won't break the bank with high co-pays, like a visit to the emergency room. Get back to doing what you love. Ortho Quick Care can keep you winning in the game and in life. Walk in now and win with NOC Ortho Quick Care at 70th and A in Lincoln. Open seven days a week. Visit NebraskaOrtho.com to learn more. Still a 2-2 two two game as we are getting closer to the start of the second period between the Stars and the Waterloo Blackhawks here from the Icebox. I'm Joe Norman and this is Lincoln Stars Hockey on Mixler and Flow Hockey. Fans, don't forget, you're running out of time here to sign up for Bowling with the Stars. It's coming up on Sunday, January 21st with the Lincoln Stars Booster Club. Bowling with the Stars takes place from 1 to 3.30 p.m. Never $25, you get two games of bowling, shoes, and unlimited drink tickets for tea, coffee, or soda. Booster Club members pay just $20. Don't delay, registration ends tomorrow. Sign up now at the Booster Club's Facebook page, Lincoln Stars Booster Club. You can sign up right on there and get set for Bowling with the Stars on Sunday, January 21st. And don't forget to stop by the Rail Yard Rink, now open in downtown Lincoln. The Rail Yard Rink is proudly presented by the Lincoln Stars and is in operation until mid-February. You're bound to make great winter memories ice skating in the heart of the capital city. Lincoln Stars players will be making appearances at the Rail Yard Rink throughout the winter months to meet and greet with fans. For a full schedule of the Rail Yard Rink, please visit lincolnstars.com and click on the Rail Yard Rink drop-down option on the community tab. Next weekend, Lincoln will have a three games and three days set beginning on Thursday when the Stars open it up with a road game against the Tri-City Storm, a place they have frequently been. In fact, for the Stars coming up, once they play Thursday, that'll be the third time in the last four road games that it has been played at the Tri-City Storm. Friday next week, a week from yesterday, the Stars will be taking on the Omaha Lancers. And then a week from tonight, It'll be Lincoln back at home against Tri-City on Star Wars night. Get your tickets for that one now at LincolnStars.com. Stars will be wearing specialty uniforms that will be auctioned off after the game. And it'll be a, a fun night of hockey here at the Icebox. Temperatures definitely dropping down pretty rapidly, but hockey season really in full swing right now as we enter these heavy stages of the winter coming up. Both teams onto the ice in period number two, just about ready to get rolling. We thank you for tuning in for the first intermission report presented by Crayon Campus. Period number two is presented by Advanced Chiropractic Solutions. Goal scores for Lincoln in this one are Oliver and Montgomery, Deering and Townsend for Waterloo. And ready to go in just a moment with the second stanza. Carryover penalty from the minor on Jaden Kerr for head contact. So the Stars have seven seconds of power play time on the second penalty of the night by the Blackhawks. Well, besides that, Lincoln is pretty much preparing for five-on-five -five play here. Faceoff is controlled by the Blackhawks, and we are back underway with period number two. Miller flips it over to Hillman. He'll loft it up towards center ice, chopped down by Pakar back to his own defense. And onto the ice comes Kerr to the near board side for Kodich, trying to fling it off of the near wall to the point. Came to Rombach, his pass through hit off of for Kodich in the near corner. Pakar sticks with it, sends it in behind the net without a stick, and with the net off his moorings, Vashon trying to motion toward the side. But we continue to play on here. On the attack, Kerr with a shot up high. That misses the net, and out of play it came. So now the net will be readjusted. 19.26 left in the second period. An adjustment about to be made now with the net on the left side. 14 shots for Waterloo, 11 for Lincoln. Lincoln outshot the Blackhawks 13 to 11 in that first period of play. Looks like the net has just now been put back into place on the left side and we're ready to get back underway. Well, typically when it's been a home game, we've seen the net off its moorings. It's been 
ones in which Johan Shostak has been on that side of the ice. He's been heavy on, uh, tight on the corners, I should say. This time it's uh, the net that Calvin Vashon is on that left one of the ice. Copeland in the zone zone, trying to get the puck out. A little bit of open ice, he'll skate it out, flicks it over to the right side, and Young will toss into the zone. Rolls around toward the near board side as Copeland applies the body. Phelan gets to it first, and it's lobbed down to the neutral zone. Comes down right in front of the stick of Thorson. Montgomery nearly going completely over him as Copeland enters the zone. Flings it to the near corner, rolls behind the net. Peters trying to pick up the puck, could not. Altrichter takes overs and begins the breakout. Here's Gavin Thorson. Cutting in on the left wing side, drop passes, one time just wide of the cage. Letting that one fly was John Mustard, and now it's the Stars' turn. Montgomery, left wing side, feeds it over toward Peters, but a bouncing puck just misses its target. Here come the Blackhawks, Nick Fascia across the line, hands it off toward Altrichter, but will be offside on the Blackhawks. 18.27 to go in period number two from the ice box. Back-to-back -back nights where we get a Two to two score after the first period of play. And now here tonight, similar spot. We saw both teams score once in the second period last night. Waterloo got the only goal of the third period to win last night's game four to three. When tied after the first period this season, Waterloo is nine and three. Lincoln is seven and five. Bashon playing the puck from the near post side, banked off of the high glass on the far end and eventually able to be broken out of the zone by Waterloo. Urban chops it in behind the cage. He'll pick up the puck far post side. Centers for Townsend, but it's broken up and eventually brought back toward the Waterloo end. Delaney, bank pass ahead for Lindbergh, trying to get an angle around Masha. Good body work by Masha, guiding him to the wall. And that allows for Mangan to take over with the puck. Tangled up briefly with Townsend. Sends it behind the net for Masha. Bruno Czech Republic native. Sends it north for Jan Berea to the left side. Mexico trying to flip back toward Jan Berea. Had it deflected up too high and away from him. Rescued at the point as it's lobbed back in by Weber. Mangan sticks with it. Backhands it over toward the far post. Well, the knuckle punk able to be grabbed out of the air by Calvin Vashon. Bashon giving up two goals on the first three shots of the game. He's recovered since then to not allow anything against the Stars. They have had eight shots since then. Got off to a slow start. Briefly led in shots on goal late in the first period. Waterloo overtook them, and they are back in the edge there. Breakout pass from Butella for Kerr. Misses its target, and that'll be icing. So the Stars get an offensive zone draw in a moment. Good job by Weber to angle off Kerr. Weber gives him a t stick tap there. Of appreciation on a good defensive play. Jaden Kerr pinching up heavily on that rush the other way. Talked about him being a big body on the ice. Six foot, three and three quarters. A guy who's been battling a lot with Ryan Spinale in tonight's game. We'll see if the Stars trying to get away from that matchup a bit. Benali, obviously the Stars' big power forward at six foot five. Blake Montgomery's right about there at six foot four. More of a finesse player. Here's a wrister from the point by Weber, fought off by Vashon. Wood back to the line, wristed through and denied again by Vashon. Reed Moore takes the hit from Blake Montgomery, but got it up the wall. And skated out of the zone by Butella. Banks it away from Weber. Shaw's the first one to it. Collected off of the wall by Mork. Wraps it in around the net. Tries to tuck it home from the far post side. Lost control as he was getting around the back of the net. Montgomery trying to steal the puck away from Fascia on the near board side. Good puck protection by Fascia as he begins the breakout far side. Flipped in just to the left of Shostak. That shuffled away from the crease to try and make the stop. It's back there now as Oliver goes to work. Sends it behind the net. Just rolls away from Ferkotic. Jack Bagar pressured well on the far board side by Connor Brown. Up ice toward Deering. He'll flick it into the end. Showstack tossed off of the wall. 
Al Dash Oliver scoots up and heads north with a biscuit. He'll flick it over to the left side. Young tries to feather it back to Oliver in the slot. Bounced away from him. A little trouble at center ice for Deering in a pass at his feet. Couldn't see it for just a moment. Battling on the far end now as the puck is whacked away from him. Here come the Stars. Oliver, far corner side. Pulls away from the wall, trying to drop it off into the far circle toward Pakar. Farkotich picks it up, picks up his shot, shoots and has it punched up into the netting as it goes out of play. Farkotich settling himself, trying to pick the corner up high. Elevated the shot, but Vashon punched it away. 15.47 to go here in the second period. Jakub Altrichter's line comes onto the ice. Altrichter, I talked about him a little bit earlier, and his penchant for the multi-point games. What a nice addition that was for the Waterloo Blackhawks, a guy acquired back on September 19th for a Phase two seventh-round pick in this coming spring's draft. I think that's a trade that Waterloo would take once again. Altrichter off to a great start on the season, 24 points in his first 23 games prior to tonight. Here's Mustard cutting in, tries the shot, then misses the cage. Up toward the left point, it's feathered through by Delaney, but right to the stick of Basha. Tossed ahead for Peters. Sends the puck over toward Copeland. One hands it ahead as it rolls in behind the net. Near board side. Reed banks on for the wall. Alt Richter trying to guide it in front of the Stars bench ahead. 15 04 to go in the second. So squirts free toward Delaney, the former Madison Capital. Up to the blue line, backhanded through his legs by Mustard into the attack again. Jan a little trouble in front of his own net, turns it over. Altrichter with a shot, save made by Shostak, and he will cover it up. Dangerous turnover in front of the Lincoln net, but Shostak with the save to prevent anything from getting worse. 14.49 to go here in the second period. It's 2-2 two two between Lincoln and Waterloo here from the icebox. Stars Hockey is being brought to you by McAllister's Deli. At McAllister's, genuine hospitality means always delivering that little something extra. Whether it's an extra smile when you walk in the door or an extra refill as you enjoy your meal, we want to visit to McAllister's to feel like visiting a good friend. We're always happy to see you and happy to serve you and want our hospitality to be as memorable as our food. Visit McAllister's Deli in Lincoln. And by Remax Concepts, hey Lincoln Stars fans, it has never been more important when buying or selling a home to have a trusted real estate agent in your corner fighting on your behalf. Andrew Alpsteg with Remax Concepts won't hesitate to drop the mitts and fight for you. Call Andrew today at 402-699-2638 to discuss how he can go bar down for you. Still knotted up here. Couple minutes into the second period with a faceoff coming up to the left of Jan Chostak. Lincoln trying to get back into the win column after losing last night. Had won three consecutive games prior to that. Waterloo with a four game winning streak entering action tonight. They've been on a heck of a roll as of late. Waterloo up to third place in the Western Conference. A point ahead of Sioux Falls entering tonight's action. It's gonna be hard for anyone to catch Waterloo. Closest team Sioux City is 12 points back of them. Here's Tyler Miller in the slot, wristing it through. Patted away by Shostak to the far wall side. Henrik's picking out his options. Tosses it over the last two lines and ahead on the four check. Mexico unable to get to it before Miller does. Collides with Mangan who steals the puck away. Mangan off of the wall to the left point. Henrik's D to D lined up. Weber shot blocked in front of the net. Trickles through. Mexico sends it home and puts the Stars back in the lead. 3-2 Lincoln with 14-17 to go here in the second period. Justin Mexico firing it past Calvin Vashon. There was a lot of commotion in front of the net, but he got it through to make it a 3-2 Lincoln lead. Three, two stars on the third goal of the season by Mexico. Able to find the loose puck in front of the cage. He was just camped out in the right spot and wristed it through. Goal scores tonight for the
for the Stars, Oliver, Montgomery, and Mexico. Butella gains the line, flips over the right side, Arister denied by the right pad of Shostak. Travis LaFear looking for his first USHL goal in his second game. Now on the near side of the ice, it's dug out by Picard, but back over toward the Waterloo blue line. Basha tosses it across, Stars one at icing, it's washed out though. Stars with three goals on for the second straight night, trying to get to that fourth one tonight. That's kind of that number. You get the four, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Here's a wrister denied. Big rebound in front of the crease off the shot by Deering, but guided out by Lincoln. Get in the line, Oliver. Bounces the puck a couple of times. Now flicks it around the boards. Just pass for Kodich. Continuing on the rush, Picard. Jack Picard near corner side. Pressured by Nyes. And the puck somehow, I believe, squirted underneath the boards and out of play. In the middle of an offensive zone attack for the Stars, the puck goes underneath the boards, out of play. So with this whistle, we get a face-off to the right of the Waterloo net. Peters to take the draw, sending up right behind him, Warren Cope on a left-handed shot, but Peters can't control the face-off. Last night's game, Peters was able to win 11 of 25 face-offs, good for 44% in the dot. Here comes Waterloo. Deering cutting in the chance in front, gets away from his stick on the give-and-go return. Battle four between the two teams before being dug out and brought north. Here's Copeland, flips it across just to the left of Vashon. He'll come out of the cage to settle it for Reed. Arson Reed up the far side, sprung ahead by Hillman a little bit too far. Wristed off the body by Varsha, right back to Nyes. Nyes is passed to Hillman, hits his skate, couldn't make the transfer over to the stick. Bouncing punk in the neutral zone, brought in by Reed. Carson Reed defended well. Masha steals it away from him, he's tripped up. We'll play on five on five. Montgomery lining it out far side, cuts in up the middle. Blake Montgomery over the blue line, good work far side by Copeland to stay with one foot on the line and stay on side. Coughed up behind the net, and Nyes breaks it out far side. Pass too strong for Mustard, and behind him, muscled around him by Hendricks, but quickly re up the other way by the Blackhawks. Altrichter centers in front for Thorson, just ahead of his stick. Tossed around to the near side. Kerr gets it up the wall. Needs a bit of resistance there in the form of Justin Mexico, who sends it back toward Tanner Hendricks. Mexico with a go-ahead goal in this game, his third in the USHL. Two of them have come in this building. Other ones coming December 15th against the Tri-City Storm and December 2nd against the Dubuque Fighting Saints on the road. All right through the left point, gets it up the wall. Miller lets it fly through as Rombach battles with Mustard underneath. Right out of the corner, back to where the wall comes as Spinelli chops at the bouncing puck. Mangan got it to the blue line. It was ruled to have been flicked back in by Miller on a delayed offside. It's no one touching up for Waterloo, so we play on. Mexico blows a tire at the blue line as Mustard takes back over, sends it to Kerr, chops the puck into the zone. Rombach backhands off of the far wall, just away from Spinelli. Fascia sends to fail and up for Lindbergh. Lindbergh pressured into the near wall by Rombach, but coming in to help out, Urban ups the biscuit to the far side. To the left point, sent back around the boards there by Fascia. Tie up behind the net, but the puck rescued by Urban, sent to the right point. Wristed wide to the cage again, this time by Michael Phelan. And recovering it on the far board side will be Mangan, who will send it up ice. Waterloo in possession. A heavy amount on this shift. Here's Urban, cutting in up the middle. Urban loses it the last moment to the back, checking Bacar, who rushes north. Here's Jack Bacar, rich shot from atop the left circle, denied by Vashon. Commotion in front with Perkotic. Far too close for the Blackhawks' liking. Delaney in particular taking exception. Vashon's stick was whacked away. Perkota try now heading over, chatting with Vashon to kind of the same my bad. Uh, now heading back over to the Stars bench after that stoppage. 10-17 to go in the second.
Deering against Bacar in the dot. Deering scoring the first goal of the night for the Blackhawks. And emerging from the fray with the puck is Delaney. He'll break it out to the far side. Gets it back on the little give and go. Fans on the shot. Bacar will pick it up. Fed it to the left side to Hillman and got it back but couldn't shoot. Bacar wrists it down low but Vashon sticks it over to the near boards. Kleber up the wall for Ferkotic. Staying on the ice here, he glides back to the left point. Berkotic lines up a shot. He scores! Max Berkotic from the left point makes it 4-2 to two stars. It's Lincoln's largest lead of the weekend so far as they lead by a pair with 9.50 to go in the second period. Max Berkotic from the left point adding to the Lincoln lead on their 17th shot of the game. Third goal of the season for Ferkovic and his second on home ice. Last time he scored back here at the ice box was on October the 14th against Youngstown when he had his first USHL goal. And Ferkovic strikes for the second time in the last four games. Tyler Miller chops the puck into the zone as Masha finds it behind his own net up the near wall side. Peters trying to get it out. Thought he had the puck around Jaden Kerr, but Allrichter goes to work. Far corner now behind the net, back to the corner. Allrichter to the right point. Kerr shot, or changes direction, but goes wide to the cage. Centering feed by Mustard, could have been connected on in front of the net by Thorson. There's a breakout the other way, intended for Montgomery as he loses his footing. Battling along with Jaden Kerr, slips up, and the Stars are guilty of icing. Jamboree and Mustard chatting on the far side now. They have to be peeled away from each other. Mustard, a first-year player in the USHL. Jamboree, parts of the last two seasons with the National Team Development Program before joining the Stars. between Montgomery and Kerr to the left of the Waterloo net. Here's Keaton Peters on the far end. At the blue line, he'll flick it across for Masha. Martin Masha gains the blue line. Wrist shot from base of the left circle and held on to by Vashon. And that'll send us into a media timeout as with 9.03 to go in the second, it's now four to two stars. Lincoln in the lead and looking to add on some more. Back with more after this on Mixler and Flow Hockey. Imperium Brewing Company is excited to be part of the Stars action again this season. The best way to watch the Stars is with a nice cold craft beer in your hands. Seriously, if you don't have one in your hands, now is the time to get one. We will wait. Be sure to check out our new lineup of 16-ounce cans of Goal Line Amber Ale or our low-carb Sunslinger Extra Pale Ale. If you're craving something with a smooth, rich finish, try our Long Root Peanut Butter Porter on tap. IPA drinkers, we didn't forget about you. You will love our Mind Over Mango IPA. Pursue the brew, and let's go Stars. Join Stars photographer B.A. and off-ice official Gene Cotter for Thunderstruck, the unofficial Lincoln Stars podcast. We'll re talk with your favorite Lincoln Stars players, coaches, and alumni. Oh, it was a great night, yeah. Beat, beat them in their own rink. I don't want to call it a surprise because I knew that there was uh, a great, rich history for hockey here in Lincoln. Thunderstruck, the podcast, all season long, wherever you find your favorite podcast. You been Four to two lead for the Stars on goals by Mexico and for Kodich here in the second period. Max for Kodich with the most recent one from the left point, getting it through all the traffic in front of the net and elevating it past Calvin Vashon. Mexico coming shortly before that on a shot that was blocked in front of the net from the slot, wristed it home off the initial shot from Ethan Weber. Mexico's third of the season at the 543 mark from Weber and Hendricks. And then for Kodich with the 10-10 mark from Kleber and Picard. <laughs> Be 
Race out control by the Blackhawks. Miller will break it out of the zone. Backhanded up in front of the Waterloo bench. And ahead, here comes Kerr. He'll bank it off of the near boards and pick up the puck himself in the near corner. Kerr has been much more aggressive activating himself on the attack tonight. As he backhands it into the corner. Now up to the right point. Lindbergh. A pass over to the left side. Winding up with a slapper was Tyler Miller. As that one is blocked away before getting to the net. On the breakout, here come the Stars. Weber over to the right side. Wristed through by Spinelli. One time off of the near wall by Mangan. And into the glove of Vashon it comes. 8.22 left here in the second period. Calvin Vashon with the four goals allowed in this game. This marks the third consecutive game he's allowed four goals. A guy who prior to tonight taking on the Stars had faced Lincoln twice at a 195 goals against average and a 940 save percentage against Lincoln. But here tonight, the four goals surrendered on 19 Lincoln shots. Balin far side, it'll be sticked up ice by Morick. It's another example tonight, the Stars doing such a good job of finding a way to bounce back. A lot of hockey to go. As they cut in and Peters lost it in the slot, tried to drop off for Shaw. Peters in front, chomping at the puck as it bounced over toward him. But right off the side of the cage and Morick breaks out. Big hit on the far side of the ice as Kleber lays the boom against Reed Morick. Behind the net, both teams jostling for position. Trying to be wristed back to the blue line, but unable to connect on that pass. It'll carry him all the way back into the Lincoln end. Stretch pass ahead for Hillman. Hops away from his stick as he tried to continue the attack. Around in the near corner, Shaw takes a big hit. Backhanded it up ice a little bit. And it'll be advanced in here on the attack. Comes Picard, denied by Vashon, and he collides with a far post. Boy, Shaw absorbed a big hit, stretched it out, though, and got it to Picard. His feet took care of the rest, cutting to the net. But denied at the last moment, trying to look like he tried to tuck it through on the five hole. And we get a brief stoppage here with 7.20 to go in the second. Talking about that bounce back ability of the Stars, though, doing a really good job entering tonight's action. You look at the last few games in which the Stars have lost a game. They are 8 9 0 oh, 1 this season in games after losses. The bulk of those losses after games that they lost were from that 11 game losing streak, of course. But as a whole, the Stars have been able to pick up a point about half the time after they lost their previous game. The other interesting thing, in weekends where the, the Stars play the same team twice and lose the first night, they're 3-1 and one the next night against that same team. Trying to up that number to 4-1 and one tonight. From the left point, fired through by Masha. And right into the glove again of Vashon with 7.09 to go here in the second period. And what a difference that first period really was here tonight compared to a night ago. Both times ending in two to two scores. Last night the Stars were on their heels a lot, being outshot 15 to seven. Tonight only 13 to 11 they were outshot. Doing a much better job adjusting in tonight's game. Mangan stepping into the faceoff circle. 11 for 20 in the dot last night. One of two Stars forwards over 20%. Or 50%, I should say. Weber shot initially blocked, collected by Mexico. Tries to hand it off for Spinelli, but whacked away from him by Tyler Miller. Hendricks fires it in around the base of the boards, and Vashon settles for Miller behind the net. Here comes Tyler Miller. Flicks it over the blue line and off of the stick of Griffith Urban. It flies in off the far side of the cage. Shostak was going to let it go initially, then wanted to cover it up, but good on. Urban up the wall, intercepted by Mangan. They'll break it out off of the glass on the far side. Rolls into the left of Vashon before being touched by Miller just ahead of Spinelli. And icing is the call. Six thirty-one to go in the second. Four to two lead for Lincoln. 
They've scored each of the last two goals. The first team tonight to score consecutive goals. Two teams alternated in that first period with Oliver for the Stars, then Deering for Waterloo, followed by Montgomery and Townsend for Lincoln and then Waterloo respectively. Tie up on the faceoff. Mangan looked like he had a clear win, but Alt Richter did a great job of getting in there to tie his stick up at the last moment and keep the zone time. Backdoor pass could not work, trying to connect with Michael Phelan. And the Blackhawks hold the line. On for long as Mangan begins the rush out of the zone, up to Spinelli, forwarded across for Mangan. Gains the blue line, chips over to Mexico. Wrist shot blocked away. Rebound, Karam to the top of the crease. Whacked out a couple of times, but not on net. As Kleber corrals at the right point. He'll bring it up the wall. Lieber is pushed to the wall. Mexico will scoop it up off the tie-up. Wraps it around to the near corner side. Grabbing the jersey and forcing him away is Fascia. Copeland right off the bench. Wrists it around to the far side. Try to be pushed out of the zone, but off the skate. Right back to Juan Copeland. Copeland even with the blue line. Attacking in. Fires down low. It's denied. The rebound. Going to be corralled by Mexico as he hustles over to the bench for a change. Mexico getting that second chance opportunity, but a block right in front. And with 5.33 to go here in the second period, offside call on Waterloo. Look at the Blackhawks right now. You're in a situation where you're probably looking to see if you can get a power play here coming up to generate some momentum. Not quite last night's game in terms of penalties being called. In fact, Waterloo has not had a power play yet to this point this evening. The Stars with the two, the only two power plays of tonight's game. They are 0 for 2 thus far. 5, 16, and ticking in the second. A 4 to 2 Lincoln lead. Bang pass ahead by Butella, just out of the reach of Morick. So that will be icing on the Blackhawks. So it's going to come to the left of Vashon. He's faced 22 shots, denied 18 of them. Travis Lafier into the dot. Cannot corral this one, but with help from Butilla, able to get that puck out of the zone. Vashon behind the net. He'll wrist it far side. Sticked up ice by Mork. Over toward the stick of Lafere, but takes it right back and chops it into the star's end. Janvaria behind the cage, over toward Masha. Martin Masha flexes it off of the boards toward Wood. Wood up the wall. Try to connect with Shaw. Could not as it came all the way over to Miller. Now Oliver collecting, backhanding it ahead for Shaw, just a little bit away from him. And flicked ahead on the attack. Here come the Blackhawks ahead. Butilla got a cross ice feed, but stolen away from him by Masha. RT Masha rolls it over toward the Waterloo net. Back top of the pads of Vashon. Shaw digs it out behind the net. Cannot connect in front of the cage with Oliver. And across ice it comes with Hillman in the far corner. Hillman around the backside. Over to Brown on the half wall, right wing in. Flip behind the net. Hillman to the right point. Cannot connect to the pass with Kerr. Rolls past his stick and back to the Waterloo end it goes. Jaden Kerr, stretch pass too strong and just a bit away from Connor Brown. Around by Lincoln as Rombach hustles north. Gains the red line and flicks it in at Vashon who sticks the puck to the far corner side. Up at the right point, Weber trying to fire through but his pass or shot blocked either way. Flicks it up the boards but right off of Grady Deering. Right back to Rombach it comes. Lincoln will try it again here on the breakout pass. It's off of Spinelli, but not across the blue line. Rolls back to Weber. Flips it D to D toward Rombach. Near wall side, Mexico flexes to the far corner. Spinelli hustling behind the net. Tangled up with Fascia as both of them collide. And getting their way up now. Peters was able to hold the line. Nice play by Brown. One hand on the stick. Got it over the blue line. But it will be wristed back around by the Stars. Gavin Lindbergh retrieves on the near wall. Leads it over toward Fascia and up ice. 
One touched into the zone by Teddy Townsend. Kleber up the far side. Couldn't connect on the pass with Copeland. Slipping up. Phelan almost gave up a breakaway opportunity to Montgomery, but from his knees was able to stick it ahead. Now the pass intended for Phelan just out of his reach. One time toward the cage. Blocked on the way through. Townsend shoots it far side. Missing the post. Delay penalty coming up on the Stars. They will touch up. And now Waterloo heads to the power play for the first time tonight. The Blackhawks with the fourth best power play in the USHL, getting an opportunity on the man advantage. As Nick Young will be sent to the box for the Stars. Looking the call on Nick Young. Lincoln's penalty kill entering tonight's game 13th in the USHL at 76%. They have scored two shorthanded goals. Surrendered two power play tallies last night. Waterloo's had a lot of success so the man advantage against Lincoln. Six for 13, good for 46.2%. Keep an eye on Lindbergh and Mustard in particular. Six power play goals and five, respectively, for the two players. Thorson, near corner side, drops it off for Hillman. He'll send it to the point to Connor Brown. Brown back to the right side to Thorson. Feeds it back up top for Miller. Miller to the right side. Thorson sneaking in atop the right circle. Sends it down even with the goal line. Right side, fed in front of the net, but blocked and cleared out of the zone. Bashon comes way out of the net, but Miller glides back to get to the puck just before his netminder. Tyler Miller had four shots on goal last night. Coughs this puck up. Here comes Peters shorthanded in the far corner. Oliver in front of the net. Peters wraps it around, feeds it back to the point, but Rombach will receive in the neutral zone. Cross ice for Kleber and tossed into the zone. Caroms toward the net off of the glass. Bashon has to extend the right pad. Nearly a fortuitous shorthanded goal there. But Vashon with a quick reaction. Oliver picks it up now and flings it down the ice. Just to the left of Vashon. 40 seconds left on the minor against Young. A minute seven to go in the period. Ulrich to up the middle. Sifts around a couple of men at the left hash, hands it off. Urban to the left point. Vasha flicks left side for Ulrich. Feeds it to the right side. One-timer by Musser, just missing the net far side. Urban pumps down low. Banked up the wall further. All reach her across ice. One touch back to the point of Fascia. 45 seconds left in the frame. Faking a shot. Mustard holds. Flips it over to Altrichter. Left circle side. It is bounced in front of the net off a feed down low, but broken up on the way to Urban. Altrichter right side. Fascia fakes the one-timer. Penalty killed. He shoots it through. It's blocked. Bounces up in the air. Guided over toward the near wall side. And another penalty's coming up. This time, it'll be on Waterloo. A tripping minor. Grady Deering to the box with 24.9 seconds to go here in the second period. Tripping on Deering, Lincoln back to the man advantage for the third time tonight. Stars entering tonight's game three for 17 against Waterloo on the man advantage. Now three for 19 with the start of this game. Bang in against Lindbergh. Montgomery to his right for Kodich to the left. Jamboree, left point. The puck came over toward him. Had to retreat to the neutral zone to get it. Spinelli at the right point on the power play as Montgomery winds it up at center ice. Far side. Gains the blue line and chips it around a couple of defenders. First man to it will be Lindbergh. He'll whistle it around the boards near side, but disrupted there by for Kodich. Spinelli, right hash, in front of the net looking for Mang, and it's broken up as time will expire here on the second period. But the Stars score twice to break a 2-2 tie and take a two-goal advantage. Mexico for the lead at the 5.43 mark and for Kodich with insurance at the 10-10 mark.
After two periods, our score, Lincoln four, Waterloo two. So that does it for the second period of play being presented by Advanced Chiropractic Solutions. The second intermission report presented by Black Label Property Services is coming up next as Brandon Warnke will be along in just a moment. Stick around, more to come here from the Icebox. This is Lincoln Stars Hockey on Mixler and Flow Hockey. The Lincoln Stars are presented by Culligan. Culligan of Lincoln area is locally owned and operated and has no plans to change that anytime soon. We understand the challenges of our region's water and have a deep passion for providing high quality water to our neighbors. At Culligan of Lincoln area, we go to great lengths to test your water, inspect your plumbing, and ask questions about your family's water needs to make sure you're happy with your Culligan water from day one. Give your people Culligan water. And by Lee's Chicken. Since 1945, this trusted establishment has continued to offer traditional comfort food in a warm and inviting environment. As the oldest running restaurant in the city, you and your family will benefit from time-honored recipes It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Da Vinci's has something for everyone, like baked pasta meals or gourmet pizzas. Choose your favorite or create your own. Speaking of creativity, express yourself at the salad bar at Da Vinci's... cookie for dessert. Da Vinci's has something to please every appetite. Take the family out to eat where it just tastes better Da Vinci's. Hey Stars fans, looking for insider information, exclusive offers, and contest details from the Lincoln Stars hockey team? Download the official Lincoln Stars hockey app powered by True North Technologies from your app store today. Every customer is unique and your marketing matters to us. We love customizing marketing plans to fit your exact needs. Call 402-420-5101 or check us out at go-tnt.com. When an injury gets you down, Nebraska Orthopedic Center's Ortho Quick Care is here to cheer you up. Win with same-day treatment, no appointments needed, and the visit won't break the bank with high co-pays, like a visit to the emergency room. Get back to doing what you love. Ortho Quick Care can keep you winning in the game and in life. Walk in now and win with NOC Ortho Quick Care at 70th and A in Lincoln. Open seven days a week. Visit NebraskaOrtho.com to learn more. Hello and welcome to the second intermission report here on Flow Hockey and Mixler. I'm Brandon Warnke. Well, the Stars are ahead 4-2 after a two-goal second period. And it all got started when uh, Jared Mangan was in the corner. He fed it to the blue line to Tanner Henricks, and Henricks gave it to Ethan Weber where he shot it in, bounced off Vashon, and Justin Mexico would be right there at the right time to put it in the net at the 543 mark to put the Stars up two to three. Rick's picking out his options, tosses it over the last two lines and ahead on the four check, Mexico unable to get to it before Miller does. Collides with Mangan who steals the puck away. Mangan off of the wall to the left point. Henricks, D to D, lined up. Weber shot, blocked in front of the net, trickles through. Mexico sends it home and puts the Stars back in the lead. 3-2 Lincoln with 14-17 to go here in the second period. Justin Mexico firing it past Calvin Vashon. There was a lot of commotion in front of the net, but he got it through to make it a 3-2 Lincoln lead. And there was a lot of commotion in front of the net, just enough to distract Vashon for Waterloo and have Justin Mexico pick up his third goal of the season. Ethan Weber with his fourth assist in the season and then Tanner Henricks also getting his fourth 
assist of the season as well. And then later on in the period at the 10-10 mark, it would be at Adam Kleber who would play it off the boards, give it to Max for Kodich, who would skate along the boards towards the blue line and kind of coast out there and fire it in to put Lincoln ahead four to two at the 10-10 mark. Bakar wrists it down low, but Vashon sticks it over to the near boards. Kleber up the wall for Verkotic. Staying on the ice here, he glides back to the left point. Verkotic lines up a shot. He scores! Max Verkotic from the left point makes it four to two stars. It's Lincoln's largest lead of the weekend so far as they lead by a pair with 9.50 to go in the second period. Max for Konich from the left point, adding to the Lincoln lead on their 17th shot of the game. Third goal of the season for for Konich and his second on home ice. Last time he scored back here at the ice box was on October the 14th against Youngstown when he had his first USHL goal. And for Konich strikes for the second time in the last four games. And thanks to Max Prokotic picking up his third goal of the game, the Stars are ahead four to two. And like we said in the broadcast earlier, the last three games, the Stars did not lead after the first and second period. Not the case tonight. They have a two goal lead in front of Waterloo. Going into this game, we were kind of thinking this would be a battle between the post as Jan Shostak and Calvin Vachon want both top five goalies in the league, Vashon got rest yesterday for the action, got, gets action tonight. He is fourth in goals against average in the USHL with 2.75, fourth in save percentage with a 0.906, and then third in shutouts, and also third in wins in the USHL. His last game, though, was on December 28th and he allowed four goals against him. And right now, Lincoln also has four goals against him as well. And then looking at Shostak, a phenomenal game for him. He has faced 20 shots by Waterloo and has only allowed two. Jan Shostak, looking at his numbers, he is sixth in goals against average with 2.88. He's actually one spot ahead of Ashan at third in save percentage with a 0.909 percentage rate and then fourth in shots against. So he's been one of those goalies who's just been seeing a lot of pucks fly his way. He has 583 on this on the season, but it would be him that would be on top right now as well as the Lincoln Stars 42. Looking at the shots, Lincoln was outshot in the first period 13 to 11, but not the case tonight in this period as they outshot Waterloo 14 to seven. A couple of penalties though did face the Stars, or one I should say with Nicholas Young picking up two minutes for hooking and obviously going into this series, Waterloo one of the best in special teams, fifth in power plays and fifth in penalty kills. However though, the Stars were able to hold strong and get that penalty kill. However, though, coming after the period, we will see the Stars on a power play due to Gavin or Grady Deering, who picked up two minutes for tripping. Currently, his currently his power or penalty is still at one minute and thirty-six seconds. We're gonna take a quick break. Once we come back, we will have scores around the USHL. Lincoln Stars currently in the lead against Waterloo, four to two. This is the second intermission report here on Flow Hockey and Mixler. Lincoln Stars Hockey is being presented by Double Eagle Golf. Double Eagle Golf is a full service indoor golf simulator with five bays available and a full bar stocked with world-class Bloody Marys, cocktails, wine, domestic and import beer, soda, and coffee. We also offer a full menu to enjoy a fun night out with family and friends while playing a full 18. And by DP Doe. DP Doe calzones are tasty anytime, but we are best known for being the best place to go or call when it is crazy late. Who else is going to deliver you a custom made calzone after the bars close? Be sure to visit DP Doe, located in downtown Lincoln on O Street. 
Imperium Brewing Company is excited to be part of the Stars action again this season. The best way to watch the Stars is with an ice cold craft beer in your hands. Seriously, if you don't have one in your hands, now is the time to get one. We will wait. Be sure to check out our new lineup of 16 ounce cans of Goal Line Amber Ale or our low carb Sunslinger Extra Pale Ale. If you're craving something with a smooth, rich finish, try our Long Root Peanut Butter Porter on tap. IPA drinkers, we didn't forget about you. You will love our Mind Over Mango IPA. Pursue the brew and let's go stars. The Lincoln Stars are being brought to you by the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Stay in the heart of the historic Haymarket District at the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Just a few blocks from campus, this boutique hotel combines Nebraska-inspired design with the latest modern amenities. Locals can chow down on everything from breakfast burritos to prime certified Angus beef steaks at Single Barrel, located just off the lobby. Graduate Lincoln, a proud partner of the Lincoln Stars. Learn more at graduatehotels.com. Stars fans, don't forget to sign up to become a member of the Lincoln Stars Booster Club. Benefits to signing up include monthly meetings, volunteer opportunities, and much more. Sign up today on the Lincoln Stars Booster Club Facebook page or by stopping by their booth at any Stars home game. Stars Hockey is being brought to you by McAllister's Deli. At McAllister's, genuine hospitality means always delivering that little something extra. Whether it's an extra smile when you walk in the door or an extra refill as you enjoy your meal, we want a visit to McAllister's to feel like visiting a good friend. We're always happy to see you and happy to serve you and want our hospitality to be as memorable as our food. Visit McAllister's Deli in Lincoln. And by Remax Concepts, hey Lincoln Stars fans, it has never been more important when buying or selling a home to have a trusted real estate agent in your corner fighting on your behalf. Andrew Alpsteg with Remax Concepts won't hesitate to drop the mitts and fight for you. Call Andrew today at 402-699-2638 to discuss how he can go bar down for you. And welcome back to the second intermission report here at the Icebox on Flow Hockey and Mixler. Looking at the scores around the league, we were coming into this one expecting a tight one. And also, we were looking at the Des Moines Buccaneers as, like, I, like we've said, though, they're in the sixth position. Right behind is the Lincoln Stars. They currently just scored against Fargo Force now, but they are still down three to two with about 314 left in the third. Looking at Sioux Falls and Stampede going against the Chicago Steel. That game is currently tied one to one with 1652 left in the third period. And Tri-City hosting USA Hockey. A very, very high scoring game in that one as Tri-City scored four goals in both the first and second period with a total of eight. And then the USA Hockey scored two in the first and four in the second. That game currently eight to six after two minutes or two periods of play. Looking at the second seed, Sioux City Musketeers taking on the Madison Capitals. Both didn't score in the first period, but it would be a three-goal second period against Madison's one goal to put Sioux City up three to one with about 14.01 left in the third. The Muskegon Lumberjacks traveling over to take on the Dubuque Fighting Saints. After one period of play, the Muskegon Lumberjacks on top of the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, three to one. And then finally, we have the Cedar Rapid Rough Riders hosting the Green Bay Gamblers. After one period of play, it is Green Bay that is behind, or on top 2-1 to one against the Cedar Rapid Rough Riders. That is going to conclude our second intermission report. Coming up after the break, we will have the final period action with Joel Norman on the call here on Flow Hockey and Mixler. Lincoln currently on top of Waterloo, 4 to 2. Lincoln Stars are being presented by Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Stop in and experience our small town atmosphere, but with big city service. Enjoy live music every weekend and watch your favorite games on one of our 22 HD TVs. 
Be sure to join us for our daily specials, happy hour, and classic menu items every day of the week. And by Craft Axe Throwing, are you ready to unleash your inner lumberjack? Look no further than Craft Axe Throwing. Whether you're a first-timer or a pro, your expert coaches have you covered. Perfect for your next birthday, date night, or just an evening with friends. Book now on CraftAxeThrowing.com for the ultimate axe experience. Whether you're a sniper or a plumber, or you ride the pine, or you've been standing on your head the whole game, everyone gets in on the selling. After you leave the icebox, head to the other barn. Rosie's downtown at 10th and P. Continue the gong show after the game. Drop your mitts and your fishbowl. Check your lettuce and lip sweater. Great drink specials. Dude, what did you just say? Now that's a hockey commercial. We'll see you at Rosie's Sports Bar Grill. Rosie's downtown, 10th and P. He shoots and scores. Rosie'sSportsBar.com. Get all of your favorite restaurants delivered with menu delivery. Delivered.com. One place for ordering delicious appetizers, refreshing salads, hot entrees, fresh sandwiches, and more. From Venue Restaurant and Lounge, Piedmont Bistro, and all Lincoln Good Sense Subs locations. Download our phone app to earn rewards on all of your carryout and delivery orders. Available on Apple and Android, just search for the Pillar Restaurants app. That's the Pillar Restaurants app. Download today. Do you carry that hockey stick with you everywhere you go? Yep, it's my lucky hockey stick. I scored five goals in one game with this baby. And you have to bring it into the convenience store? How else would I get this bag of chips to the counter? Or point to the Nebraska Lottery scratch games I want to buy. I suppose you scratch the tickets with it, too? No, that would be weird. Nebraska Lottery scratch games. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. It's me. It's me. It's Double D. Cheesesteak royalty has come to Lincoln. If you want the Stone Cold Best, if you want the people's cheesesteak, you come see me. Double D. Delco D. Find us behind Gravity, 12th and O Street. Come get the new Cheesesteak King of Lincoln. Find Delco Dave's on Facebook for more details. Authentic cheesesteaks made by an authentic Philly. Lincoln taking the lead with a 4-2 score heading into the third period thanks to a couple of goals in the second. First one from Justin Mexico to give the Stars the lead. And then the second one shortly after that coming off of the stick of Max Verkovic. A laser from the left point to give the Stars a 4-2 advantage. And that is where we sit entering period number three. First time for the Stars with a lead heading into the third period since a couple of Fridays ago. You hear that first and you're thinking, okay, well maybe it's been a tough stretch. It hasn't. Lincoln's been playing really good hockey entering tonight's action as well. Uh, in that stretch of those last five games I'm referring to, they've won three of the first four and are trying to get a fourth win in their last five here tonight as they take this four to two lead into the second period. When leading after two periods this season, the Stars are seven and zero. Oh, while Waterloo is one and six, one trailing after 40 minutes of hockey. So here we go, second intermission coming to an end as we get set to go with period number three here from the icebox. Our second intermission was brought to you by Black Label Property Services. And happy to get you back in action here in just a moment. I'm Joel Norman coming to you live from the icebox and this final game of the weekend set, Lincoln against Waterloo back-to-back -back nights. Next weekend, let's get started a day early. Next Thursday, the Stars at Tri-City on Thursday night before a road game with Omaha next Friday. And then next Saturday, the Stars will be back here on home ice taking on the Tri-City Storm. And that game will be Star Wars night as well, don't forget. So you can get tickets for that one at LincolnStars.com. You get four tickets and two lightsabers for $75 and a family four-pack available on the Stars website. Lincoln attacking left to right here in the third period, up by a pair of goals and looking to hang on on home ice as they control the opening draw. They continue on the power play that occurred, the penalty coming late in that second period of play and carrying over. Here's Spinelli on the zone entry, flicks it over to the left side, gets it back and backhands over toward for Kodich right corner. Jan Berea up top, flicks over to the right side. Right hash, Montgomery shoots, but it's blocked away. Miller gets in front of that and guides it out to the neutral zone. Buck rolling over the blue lines, back over to Jared Mangan. Winds it back up and hustles north with the biscuit. He'll drop off for Jan Berea, a little bit to the side of him, but dishes it back over to Montgomery. 
Blake Montgomery hands off toward Mang and chopped away from him and into the attack again. Rolls to the half wall near side. Janvaria to the right point. Montgomery rescuing it briefly, but now broken out the other way. Here comes Gavin Thorson, shorthanded. Thorson to the backhand, denied! Shostak extending the pad as his pass on the far side comes into the slot, but broken up before it could reach Altrichter. A big stop there by Jan Shostak on the shorthanded opportunity, but now Gavin Thorson is tripped up, and Waterloo will head on to the power play in just a moment. Now Waterloo will even things back up at four on four for the next 29 seconds. Before we move on to a, a extended power play opportunity for the Blackhawks. Tripping the call against Max for Kodich after that shorthanded opportunity a moment ago. Thorson cutting in, trying to pick up goal number seven on the season, but he was upended shortly afterward. Now here's Peters behind the net, banking it off of the wall toward Ethan Weber. Ash Oliver hangs on to the puck. He'll zoom north with it. Oliver over the line and into the attacking end. Tries to feather through for Weber. Broke it up and collected near post side by Nick Fascia. Sent in behind the net. And brought around to the near side of the ice. Fascia arouses it into the neutral zone. He'll flip it off of the boards far side. And Thorson glides in behind the Stars' net. Power play now for the Blackhawks as we go to five on four. Thorson gliding to the right circle. Back up top, we'll feed it to Mustard. Give and go back to Thorson in the slot. Lindbergh over toward Mustard. His wrister misses the cage. Thorson slaps it into the slot. Lindbergh with the lane. Hit the right iron, and it pops out of the zone. Now Peters escorts the puck to the neutral zone, trying to rush the other way shorthanded as Fascia takes over. Waterloo nearly getting within one goal and a shot by Lindbergh. Now it's glided in up the middle by Muster, but poked away from him and cleared out by Nick Young. 41 seconds left on the Furkovich minor. Link it out, shooting Waterloo 25 to 21. Altrichter nearly making the seas part. Couldn't get around Young again, and he'll loft at the length of the ice. Scooped up behind the Waterloo net. Here comes Nick Fascia. Over the blue line, he'll feather it to the right side. Mustard across. Leads all USHL rookies in goals and assists and coughs this one up. Montgomery over to Peters. Left wing side, back to Montgomery. Trying to settle the puck. He couldn't elevate on the shot. Going to get the shot off at all. And the Blackhawks rush the other way. Mustard slowing things down. Pumps it back in front of his own net. As for Kodich, his minor expires. And we go back to five on five. Berkotich steals the puck away from Kerr in the neutral zone. Briefly lost it before Kerr lobs the puck back in. To the left of the Stars netminder. Berkotich off of the wall for Montgomery. He's had a long shift. Trying to get around Tyler Miller. Slows up on the far corner side. Banked off of the wall. Miller hoping to force that out the other way. Brown breaks out to Townsend. Scored earlier in this game. Teddy Townsend around Copeland. Elevates, but a good save there by Shostak. Even with the near post. Peters to Jan Varia. Fed through for Rombach. One-handed ahead, but right to the stick of Miller. He'll up it the other way. Here comes Hillman. Blackhawks charging. Hillman can't get around Oliver. And he'll wrist it into the neutral zone. Reed across the blue line. A couple of really nice dangles. Carries the punk to the far wall. Pressured by Rombach. Gets the pass up toward the point. Miller brings it behind the blue line. Fires through. Shows that gloves. No offside call being made. And now we do get a very late offsides whistle. Miller had that puck well behind the blue line, flinging it through. And now a stoppage with 15.52 to go here in the third period. Neutral zone faceoff coming up in just a moment. Mangan steps in against Travis LaFear, the Grand Rapids, Michigan native. 
Talked about Lafier making his USHL debut last night. In 12 games this spring for Fox Motors 16U AAA at three goals and seven assists. Reed will backhand it to the far side. Muscled ahead by Reed Morick into the attacking end. Fourth line on the ice right now for Waterloo. Second line for Lincoln. Morick backhands it into the near corner. Henrik side arms it up the wall to the near side to Weber. He's pushed in against the glass. Pressured by Mangan. Morick jumps into the fray, trying to pull it away. Looks like it's right at the feet of Butella. But a pry it free behind the net. First man there for the Stars is Tanner Henricks. Flicked ahead for Mangan. Sidestepping the pressure of Butella. Mangan across the line. Fires a shot just wide of the near post. Spadali steals it away. Wrapping it around behind the net. Tries to center for Mexico, but the pass broken up. Mangan jumps over to the corner to try and keep the play alive. Good rescue of the puck there at the point by Young. Over to Spinelli. His wrists are blocked away to the near corner. Mangan wrists it off of the wall. Back towards Spinelli, trying to apply the body as he was just barely beaten to the puck. Brought to the base of the left wing circle. Mangan colliding with a couple of defenders, coughing up the puck. He'll get it back in the neutral zone. Jared Mangan off of the far glass and into the zone. Retrieved behind the net by Calvin Vashon. Wristed to the near corner. Thorson pressured there by for Kodich. Max for Kodich with a nice game tonight. He's got the goal with some good defensive work. Dasha Oliver reverses direction and sends it behind the net to Verkotic. Near corner side. Tries to flex it across ice. Passing lane interrupted. Brought back to the neutral zone and backhanded in by Picard. Rolls over and off of the stick of Young. He'll pick it back up and send it back to his blue line to Kleber. At the red line, Kleber lobbing the puck in toward Vashon, who will cover it up, and we get a stoppage in play with 14.07 to go here in period number three. It's four to two stars late in the third period with the stars trying to bounce back after last night's loss. We'll be back with more in just a moment after this on Mixler and Flow Hockey. Stars fans, don't forget to sign up to become a member of the Lincoln Stars Booster Club. Benefits to signing up include monthly meetings, volunteer opportunities, and much more. Sign up today on the Lincoln Stars Booster Club Facebook page or by stopping by their booth at any Stars home game. The Lincoln Stars are being brought to you by the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Stay in the heart of the historic Haymarket District at the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Just a few blocks from campus, this boutique hotel combines Nebraska-inspired design with the latest modern amenities. Locals can chow down on everything from breakfast burritos to prime certified Angus beef steaks at Single Barrel, located just off the lobby. Graduate Lincoln, a proud partner of the Lincoln Stars. Learn more at graduatehotels.com. Fourteen oh seven to go here in the third period, with the Stars leading this game by a four to two score. Trying to add to it as they get the offensive zone draw here. Peters unable to win it. And the puck broke it out across ice. Is poked in toward the near end. Janvaria picks it up as that will be icing on the Blackhawks. So another offensive zone attack coming in a moment for Lincoln. So they will change things up. The Rombach and Henrik's defensive pairing hops on the ice as Masha and Janvaria will depart. Same forward unit stays out. Keaton Peters with 11 goals over his last 14 games prior to tonight. Takes this face off, cannot control it. Miller able to help get it out from across ice from Brown. Near side of the ice, Lindbergh. Pushed to the wall by Henricks, allowing for a turnover to take place, and Peters sends it behind the net. Rombach to the far side, intercepted by Miller. Lobs it over toward the near corner. Missing his target in front of the net. He had Thorson crashing the crease. Here's Copeland. One touch to get over to Peters. Also hitting his stick was Kerr. Long pass ahead for Montgomery. He blows the tire as it rolls back to Vashon. Vashon briefly covering up the puck against the ice and then flipped it away. Now hanging on to it for the whistle. A quick whistle from the referees. Right now having a discussion with him, I think letting them know what they were thinking with that. You can understand Vashon maybe trying to catch the Stars in the midst of that rush and try to quickly get something going the other way. The 
Defensive zone draw won by Waterloo. Here's Griffith Urban on the far side. Trying to dangle around Rombach. Couldn't come through it with the puck. He and Mustard go to work behind the net. Urban in the far corner. Fed up toward the right point. Big hit by Henricks against him. He couldn't connect on the pass with Deering. Jake Delaney. Cross ice and a little out of the reach of Mustard. Allows for Mangan to one time it into the zone. Fanned a little bit, but did make contact. Waterloo attacking right to left here in the third period, being brought to you by Chick fil A. Young retrieves the puck at his own end off of the end wall, forwards it for Mexico with the blue line, who one touches it into the attacking zone. Stars changing up on the fly here. 12 35 to go in the third. Fascia to the far side. Stretched out by Phelan and off of the body of Hillman. Tries to feed it up to the point. No one there. Picard intercepts and takes over. Stretches it out for Spinelli. Trying to get around. Curry could not. Penalty coming up against Waterloo. Kerr and Spinelli have been battling all game long. And he picks up a penalty here as we get a whistle. Right in the middle of the Stars possessing the puck in front of their own bench. Lincoln is pretty stunned on the bench. Rocky Russo and Mike Zanella both of their arms extended. Not sure why the whistle was called. It was strange to see the play stop there as Lincoln was in the midst of retrieving the puck in front of their own bench and trying to set up the six on five attack. Either way, they will get the power play, but they wanted some of that extended time up a skater. Thank you, pardon, it would have been six on, yeah, it would have stayed six on five there for a little bit as they were trying to sort it all out. Miles Hillman is up to plead his teammate's defense, but Kerr is in the box once again. He was whistled for head contact late in the first period and now for tripping at the 7.50 mark of this third period. So how about this? It looks like the faceoff is also going to take place in the neutral zone instead of as it's standard is, is, is usually in the offensive zone on the penalty. But Lincoln will take this at center ice. Rocky Russo just finishing up his discussion with James McQuesten. Strange way to start the power play. But here we go from center ice. Lincoln controls the draw. Kleber back in front of his own net. Weaves behind the cage. Adam Kleber, four goals this season. He has scored two power play goals. Four players on the Stars with multiple power play goals. Peters has three. Pakar four. Kleber and Yavash two. Although Yavash not available tonight. Here comes Adam Kleber heading up ice. Drops it off to Peters behind the blue line. Flicks it in off of the boards, waist high, and it rolls around to the left point. Kleber using his big frame to stave off the defense. No look, backhand pass up the wall, hit right off of Fascia. That is now lobbed over near side of the ice, off of the wall, right in front of the Waterloo bench. A minute 14 to go on this power play. Pacar zooms north over the blue line, chipped back to him from Mexico. Jack Pacar to the right point. Jan Varia finds space, shoots it far post side. Might have been brushed aside by Vashaw. Peters at the point. Looks to the right side. Up against the wall. It'll be fed by Copeland back toward the corner. Into the slot. Peters trying to set up on the one timer. The pass misses him. And it's broken up heads all the way back toward the Stars defensive zone. Shostak settling it behind the net for Jan Varia. Drops off toward Mangan and fixed over toward the left side for Montgomery. Blake Montgomery with a goal tonight. Team leading 12th of the season. Mangan back toward the corner. Reunited with his regular line mates right now. But skating with Spinelli all game long. Pretty much only Montgomery on the power play. Mangan surveys, feeds it to the point. Jan Varia to the left side. Masha trades places with him. Masha back down low right side for Mangan. Mangan to the blue line, across for Jan Varia, fakes a one-timer, brings it back to the line himself, feeds it left side, Mangan taking his place, shoots, and it's blocked. Mangan back to the point, Masha has it, over to Jan Varia, weaving left. Jan Varia, as the penalty expires, up to the right point, Masha fans on the one-timer, redirected in the slot, but it couldn't get through. And now the Blackhawks skate it out, 10 minutes to go in regulation, down by two. Kerr spins and feeds it into the slot, but right to Mangan. Thought he had a teammate there, sends it to the star center. Now Montgomery behind the defense, shoots, it's denied. Vashon with the save. 
Spedali across, Bacar trying to thread it around Kerr, couldn't, he sticks with the play. Stars hungry for more. From the right point, Weber shot denied. It's fumbled by Vashon, but the rebound cleared away. Montgomery behind the blue line, re-enters the zone right up the middle. Blake Montgomery towards Spinelli, off of the wall, receives it. Spinelli banked behind the net, trying to be wrapped around on the backhand by Picard. Couldn't stuff it home. Dangerous line working right here for the Stars in Spinelli, Picard, and Montgomery as they will head off ice. 9-10 to go in the third. Mustard can't get around Weber. Here's Oliver zooming it north. He is skating very well and very confidently tonight. Gets it over the red line. Double team there, coughs the puck up. In on the attack, Deering. Centers to the left side. Arister just misses the far post. Reed Morick letting it fly. Now with 8.49 left, Oliver flies it in. Pushing and shoving in front of the Waterloo bench now as Lincoln continues the attack. For Kodich shoots, pushed aside, maybe off the side of the cage. Lob pass intercepted by Mangan, re-enters the zone. Shoots it down low, that one's denied. Mexico on the rebound, shoots, he scores! Justin Mexico, his second of the night for his first USHL multi-goal game. It's 5-2 to two stars with 8.30 to go here in the third period. Depth scoring has been the name of the game for the Stars since the beginning of December. And that is certainly holding true once again tonight. Mexico is second of the game. And he's made it a three-goal lead for Lincoln. to two lead, the largest lead of the game for the Stars continues to grow. And you got to give credit to the Stars. They have not been happy with being up by two. As Mangan's shot is held, we get a timeout with 8.14 to go here in the third period. It's five to two Stars. And more to come after this on Mixler and Flow Hockey. Don't forget to stop by the Rail Yard Rink, now open in downtown Lincoln. The Rail Yard Rink is proudly presented by the Lincoln Stars and is in operation until mid-February. You're bound to make great winter memories ice skating in the heart of the capital city. Lincoln Stars players will be making appearances at the Rail Yard Rink throughout the winter months to meet and greet with fans. For a full schedule of the Rail Yard Rink, please visit LincolnStars.com and click on the Rail Yard Rink drop-down option on the Community tab. Auto repair can be a mystery. What are they trying to hide? At Southside Auto Tech, we'll show you. Step inside. Avoid those bothersome breakdowns this winter. Get ready for the cold weather at Southside Auto Tech. Now is the time to have your antifreeze belts and hoses checked. Protect your investment with the trusted professionals at Southside Auto Tech. Keeping people out of the cold for over 25 years, just south of 48th and Highway 2 on Rentworth Drive. Join Stars photographer B.A. and off-ice official Gene Cotter for Thunderstruck, the unofficial Lincoln Stars podcast. We'll talk with your favorite Lincoln Stars players, coaches, and alumni. Oh, it was a great night, yeah. Beat, beat them in their own rink. I don't want to call it a surprise because I knew that there was uh, a great, rich history for hockey here in Lincoln. Thunderstruck, the podcast, all season long, wherever you find your favorite podcast. You've been, you've been Stars are rocking and rolling here tonight at the Icebox. Justin Mexico with his second goal of the game a moment ago. Fourth of the season at the 11.30 mark here of this third period. Jared Mangan picking up the lone helper on that tally. And the Stars up by three goals. Their largest lead of the game and largest since getting up by as many as five a couple of Fridays ago. That's been the theme tonight. I've talked about a lot of firsts since that game. The way they started that game, the way they want to play a complete 60 minutes. And tonight, the Stars have been pretty much able to put together a pretty complete game thus far. Kerr gains the blue line. His shot deflected off of the shin of Henricks. Rolls to Shostak. 
And is covered up by the Stars netminder. Keep talking about it, but the ability of this team to bounce back after losses is pretty incredible. If they can hang on here, they'll improve to 9 9 0 oh, 1 after games they lose. Peters on the near wall. At his own end, we'll flick it over toward Jan Berea. Stretch pass ahead for Perkotic. He's got two points tonight. Eases up, looking for Montgomery. Looked over too late, coughed the puck up. Towns in the other way. He's over the blue line. Left hand shoots off the side of the net, pushed aside. Mexico and Ferkotic with multi-point nights. Mexico, the two goals, a goal and an assist for Ferkotic. Hillman on the attack. He shoots up high, and that is denied away by Shostak. Peters looking up. Montgomery wanted the puck. Peters will carry it and toss it into the zone. 7.08 to go here in the third period. Funky Karamoff on the boards, comes toward the far post, but it'll be paddled away by Shostak. And Oliver up ice in front of his own bench, banks it ahead. He looked like he was behind the red line. Looks like it might have just barely been pulled over. Now Shaw on the far corner. Wood comes in there to help him out. Flicked up the wall for Shaw. He'll backhand it into the slot, a little bit out of the reach of Oliver. Try to be flipped to the right point, but blocked on the way through. Alt-Richter will take it the other way. Jakub Alt-Richter. Going to get around Kleber, who muscles the puck into the neutral zone. Fascia with 6.30 to go. Across ice for Kerr. Tossed in behind the star's net. Kleber around for the near side. Oliver, double team, can't get around Fascia. Urban with a stick lift as Kleber comes in, pushes Fascia aside. Kerr battling with Young on the far side. Kerr off of the wall. Drifting back to the blue line. Backhands ahead. Too strong for Butella. Now Kleber. Wristed around the board to the near side of the ice. Oliver can't get it free as the shot comes through. Denied by Shostak. Rebound opportunity slapped wide by Kerr. At the left point, it's kept into the zone as Fascia flings it around the boards. Back underneath. Wraparound opportunity attempted by Deering, broken up. Now Morick right in front of the net. He's got his man. It's Mustard, and he scores. John Mustard picks up the goal to make it a two-goal contest, his 16th of the season. Well, you knew Waterloo was going to bring the pressure. And they're able to get a tally there. Down by three, credit to them, not throwing in the towel. They have made it a two-goal contest. There's a lot of hockey left. 5.45 to go here in regulation. Face-off controlled by the Blackhawks. Basha across ice. And a little bit out of the reach of Morick. Picking up one of the assists on that helper. Helper, Deering gets the other. Now on the attack, Spinelli with a shot. Blocked away, the rebound rolling just wide of the near post. Back to the neutral zone it comes. Mexico will chop it into the zone. The Stars do have one hat trick this year. Keaton Peters back on Black Friday against Sioux Falls. Haven't had a hat trick on home ice since the 2021-22 season. Stretch pass ahead for Mexico, a little bit too strong. Love to get him another chance here. Here's Martin Masha. Jacob Rombach receives a near side, up ice and off of the stick of Frkotic. The punk flies into the attacking end. Bashan leaves it behind the net, flexed up toward the near side and up to center ice. Here comes Lindbergh, a goal last night. Cannot get through Jan Varia and Masha. Berkotic able to guide that punk to the neutral zone. Pakar begins the charge north. Toward the far side, he backhands it down low. Rebound, whacked at by Berkotic a couple of times. Bashan with a few terrific stops to keep this just a two-goal deficit for Waterloo. Oh boy, Max Berkotic that close to his second of the night. Knocking on the door on the backhand a few times, but a sprawling Vashon makes a couple of terrific saves. 
35 shots now for Lincoln compared to 26 for Waterloo. This season went out shooting their opponents. The Stars are seven and seven. Waterloo, meanwhile, six and six when being out shot. A lot of time left here. The Stars wouldn't mind regaining that three goal lead. Ty Jan Varia from behind his own blue line after the Stars could have controlled the offensive zone draw. Puck is flicked in around the boards just behind him. Jan Varia off of the wall. Trying to get it toward Masha, does, and he'll flex it up ice for Peters. Keaton Peters rolls the puck in toward the near corner side. Her pressure by Peters there, coughs it up. Montgomery to Peters, advanced up the wall, no one there. Now it's Waterloo's turn to charge north. Here in the third period, down 5-3, to 3.52 to go. Third period presented by Chick-fil-A. Stars captain Jan Varia to the far side. Masha up ice, catches the stick of Montgomery. He got it around Kerr. Kerr did enough to slow down BMO there. Tyler Miller charges in. Here comes Vashon to the bench for the extra attacker. Ulrichter and Mustard come on as Kerr went to the bench for a change. Mustard looming at the right point. He scored earlier in this period for the game's most recent tally. Ulrichter. From behind the net, looks to the point. He'll pump it down low for Thorson. Thorson in front, back door. Lindbergh fanning on the one-timer, shattered the stick. It looks like it's still in one piece, but broken. He has to go to the bench for a new twig. He'll hop off instead. Hillman on the backhand at the left point. Waterloo captain feeds it to Miller up top. He's got a lane, shoots, and it's just knuckled wide. Stretch pass by Thorson to the point, misses its target. Montgomery speeds in to retrieve the puck behind the goal line. Looking over toward Mangan, pass misses its target. Mangan off the wall for the empty net, misses the cage. Star still on the attack with the empty net. Montgomery into the slot, tipped by Mangan, but it was blocked and skated out by Thorson. Gavin Thorson tosses it through for Shostak knuckling as he tried to clear it away it was deflected by a diving Thorson just wide of the near post Thorson backhands in front Altrichter can't collect Copeland fires for the empty net hits a stick and goes just wide of the cage Mexico is on the ice two goals for him already 2-12 to go here in the third period here comes Urban Arister denied Shostak hangs on with 2.08 to go And I wonder if we might be getting a timeout here soon for Waterloo. Looks like they're going to deploy their six skaters here and try to tie this one up. Smaby is now signaling, changing his mind. He will call for the timeout. Kind of wanted to see how the stars lined up. So a timeout here on the ice. We will be back in just a moment with 2.08 to go in the third. Hang on, it's five to three stars. Stars fans, don't forget to sign up to become a member of the Lincoln Stars Booster Club. Benefits to signing up include monthly meetings, volunteer opportunities, and much more. Sign up today on the Lincoln Stars Booster Club Facebook page or by stopping by their booth at any Stars home game. The Lincoln Stars are being brought to you by the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Stay in the heart of the historic Haymarket District at the Graduate Lincoln Hotel. Just a few blocks from campus, this boutique hotel combines Nebraska-inspired design with the latest modern amenities. Locals can chow down on everything from breakfast burritos to prime certified Angus beef steaks at Single Barrel, located just off the lobby. Graduate Lincoln, a proud partner of the Lincoln Stars. Learn more at graduatehotels.com. Two-goal lead for Lincoln. It was as high as three. Waterloo has gotten one goal back. John Mustard scoring at the 14-15 mark with his 16th of the season. Still plenty of time for the Blackhawks as they have emptied the net. The Stars trying to see if they can ice it here. Jack Bacar will take the face off against Gavin Lindbergh. Tie up on it for Kodich, corrals the punk, lobs it out toward the empty net, off of the glass. It's guided just away from the cage by Fascia. All over the first one to it, could not connect on the pass with Pakar. 
And the puck will be brought out of the Waterloo end now. Towns it around the board to the near corner side. Kleber getting to it before Brown got a stick around him, keeping it in the corner. Brown up the wall to the left point. Fascia, right point side. Townsend lines up with a slapper. It's blocked away. Oliver able to backhand it ahead. He's trying to skirt the other way. Lobs it up against the boards. Able to be collected there, though, by Fascia over to Townsend. Waterloo the other way again. Six on five, a minute 20 left in the game. Two goal deficit for the Blackhawks with the Lincoln Stars trying to hang on here tonight. Miller gets it up as it's pitch forked in further by Mork. Lindbergh, wrap around, backhand pass in front, tipped just wide by Erdman. Masha flexes it the other way. Lincoln will take the icing here to get a second to breathe as Waterloo goes back to touch up. 61 seconds left in regulation. Five to three stars right now. If this score holds, this would be Lincoln's first non-one goal game since before the holiday break when they lost by a six to one score on December 16th at Tri-City. It's Lincoln's turn for a timeout with the icing call. Trying to get those tired skaters an extra moment to rest. We'll take one as well. And be right back with more after this on Mixler and Flow Hockey. The Stars are back home next Saturday night for Star Wars night as they battle the Tri-City Storm here at the Icebox. The Stars will be sporting specialty Star Wars uniforms that will be auctioned off after Saturday's game. The puck drops at 7.05 p.m. and you can get your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. Stars Hockey is being brought to you by McAllister's Deli. At McAllister's, genuine hospitality means always delivering that little something extra. Whether it's an extra smile when you walk in the door or an extra refill as you enjoy your meal, we want a visit to McAllister's to feel like visiting a good friend. We're always happy to see you and happy to serve you and want our hospitality to be as memorable as our food. Visit McAllister's Deli in Lincoln. And by Remax Concepts, hey Lincoln Stars fans, it has never been more important when buying or selling a home to have a trusted real estate agent in your corner fighting on your behalf. Andrew Alpsteg with Remax Concepts won't hesitate to drop the mitts and fight for you. Call Andrew today at 402-699-2638 to discuss how he can go bar down for you. A minute and one second to go. Defensive zone draw for the Stars. Mexico wins it. And the Stars bank it around the boards near side, but it's kept into the attack again. Thorson, short side pass, looking for Deering. The puck's still loose. Now able to be handled by Shostak. Making his 27th save of the night there. Stars clinging to this 5-3 lead. Face off again will be in the Stars defensive zone. 50.2 seconds left. Trying to hang on and get the win here tonight. Mexico with two goals. He's on the ice to take the face off. Last night in the dot. Mexico won four of seven draws. Cannot can claim this one. Hillman right in front of the net tonight. A flurry of opportunities, but kept out by Shostak. Thorson in the corner, lobs it to the far post side. The pass broken up by Mangan on its way, intended for Hillman. He'll forward it back to the corner toward Thorson. Behind the net, it's Deering. Brings it to the near side with 28 seconds to go. Pressured well by Kleber and locked in against the wall. Altrichter up top. It's held for a moment. Mustard misses the net. Rebound opportunity denied. Hall Richter on the backhand. Shostak makes the save. 20 seconds to go. Thorson on the tie up trying to pry it free. He cannot get it out of the mesh as we will get a whistle with 6.9 seconds to go. What a stop a moment ago by Jan Shostak. Six point nine seconds is all that separates the stars from getting two points tonight to make it wins in three of their last five games. Very part wins in four of their last five games. Trying to snap Waterloo's four game winning streak. Face 
Faceoff coming up to the right of Shostak here. Clearing attempt by Kleber. Couldn't get out initially. The second attempt does. Down the ice, and time will expire here at the ice box. The Stars win 5-3 behind two goals by Justin Mexico and a two-point night from Max Verkotic. A 5-3 triumph here tonight as Lincoln and Waterloo split the weekend doubleheader. Lincoln improves to 12, 17, 0 and 2. Waterloo is now 17 and 12 on the season. As the two teams wrap up the regular season series, Waterloo does take three of the four games, but Lincoln is able to win the regular season series finale with this 5-3 triumph here tonight. Stick around. We're going to have coaches' comments coming up in just a moment. That'll be on Mixler. If you're watching on Flow Hockey, make sure to flip over to our Mixler account right now. Coach's comments is always being brought to you by Southside Auto Tech. They're coming up in just a moment. Stars win 5-3. More in just a moment.